privilege and just a joy for me, for me to present today's episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank. It is a live mm, kind of podcast, if you will. I'll just take you back real quick. I, I'm going to introduce it again in the episode. I'm just going to do it real quick and set this whole thing up. Um, in 1996 or seven, I wrote a screenplay as an undergraduate at the University of Maryland at College Park. That screenplay was terrible. I'm not saying that to try to get people to say, no, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was terrible. It was really, really quite bad. And I didn't know until I dusted it off again. I really thought it was a good thing. But it was terrible. I let Danish and O'Neill, Jeff Danis and Ryan O'Neill, uh, I let them read it years ago, and they mocked me mercilessly. For years, they just continuously did it. They, they, they'd bring up uh, uh, details from the movie. Shooter is the name of the movie. they bring up details, and they'd use that to mock me. It's like, oh, you mean like that time Shooter did this? I'm like, come on, dude. So I decided a couple of years ago, and finally got it around to doing it, to have a live table read. A live table read is when you don't act out a movie, just in case you don't know what it is. Um, but everyone kind of reads the parts around a table. And you can have an audience there. You cannot. We had an audience. It's recorded live at the Bell House in Brooklyn, New York, in November as part of the New York Comedy Festival. Um, it was bad. Not the show. The show was amazing. And that's what I'm going to present to you guys now. Um, the screenplay that I wrote in college in a workshop class. And I mean, it's terrible. I'm, when I say terrible, I mean like, like my singing voice. It, it's, it's, it's bad. And when I go to karaoke, people go, all right, we're not singing. I'm like, no, my voice is bad. And they go, no, I'm sure it's fine. I'm like, no, no, I'm not looking for positive reinforcement. You guys haven't heard my voice. I have. It's bad. And they go, it can't be that bad. I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's, not, it's not just that it's that bad. It makes the room weird. I'm going to queer the room if you make me sing. And once every couple of years, someone with peer pressure forces me to sing, and it makes people feel weird. It's, it's a bad voice. I wish I, could sh- I wish I could show you how terrible it was, but uh, my voice is. But right now, we're not concentrating on my voice. Right now, what we're talking about is a live table read. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, unfortunately, the recording at the Bell House cut off, and we lost the last seven or eight minutes, probably the last two minutes of screenplay. Now, don't worry. What I did was, because I know there's going to be a feeling of incompletion if you don't know how exactly the movie wraps up. So I quickly got some people at Gas Digital. I was down there, and I asked each of them to read uh, one of the parts to wrap up the, uh, to wrap up the movie. Um, so that'll be at the end, but so don't go crazy when, you know, when it suddenly cuts off in the middle of the middle of a great piece of dialogue. Oh my God. I'm just thinking about how awful it is now. <sighs> I'm getting like heart palpitations. Um, so let's do it real quick. Uh, I have some tour dates. I'm not going to go into them in detail. I'm just going to tell you, go to arishafir.com, uh, for tickets. And these start in April. I'll be in Vegas this weekend right now. Um, but these start in April. Toronto, the second show, that's all that's left, April 6th. Um, Portland, April 26th. Seattle, April 27th. Calgary, May 2nd through 4th. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, May 9th through 11th. Uh, and then getting into June, we got Columbus and Skankfest. Uh, all right, you guys. Milwaukee's coming too, but that's later. So let's do it. I guess let's do it. This makes me nervous to have to present it to you because I, I don't. Well, let's start. I'm going to take you guys right now uh, live to the Bell House in November of 2018 where we recorded this. When I wrote this screenplay, I'll just tell you this and we'll start. My intention was never to have it as a table read. My intention was to have it as a movie. And I didn't know how bad I was. Just like a lot of people don't know. Just like when a comic's like, I've been doing this for three years. It must be something holding me back. Other than it takes another seven. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted. But, man, you know what? I, this is, this, it was pretty fucking good. 
Because though not everything works out the way you intend it, sometimes it works out, you know, the way it's supposed to. And man, this was a great, great night. So I'm going to take you guys right now um, to the Bell House in Brooklyn, New York for the live table read of Shooter. We will start when I walk out onto the stage. <sighs> yeah, man. <laughs> you don't always get to choose how things go, but... Sometimes they do work out for you. Here we go. Let's let's go to, let's go to Brooklyn. Let's go to Bell House, G- guys. Enjoy. Oh, also, um, I didn't put a uh, Photoshop for this episode. I figure what I would do is I would let you guys listen to it and then make your own Photoshops. If you use one, if you give me one that I like, I'll put it up on Instagram. I'll give you twenty five bucks. Same goes for my special double negative. That Same thing. Song- Thank you very much. I'm saying one problem, possibly. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys? This is going to be fucking wonderful. First of all, thank you very much for showing up. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, how many people here for just a straight stand-up comedy show? Okay, you're fucked, bro. <laughs> uh, here's what happened. I, and I went to University of Maryland. Um, did you guys go there? Well, you've heard of it. Excellent. Fucking tear up in pride. Turtles were our mascot. Literally a turtle. Uh, Anyway, while I was in Maryland, I wrote a screenplay. I took a screenwriting class. I wrote a screenplay. The name of the screenplay was called Shooter, and I thought it was fucking wonderful. (laughs) The problem is I wrote it in a file format that's no longer around called WordPerfect. It was buried by Word and the office uh, programs. That, uh, they wouldn't let you uh, upload like Netscape Navigator or something if you had it. So you had to delete it off your computer. Anyway, I hadn't read it for about 10, 12 years. And then uh, Joe Rogan's manager, she was like, Ari, if you need some help, I'm here to help you. If you ever write a screenplay or anything, let me know and I can help you sell it. And I was like, fucking big opportunity. This is me, broke. <laughs> And I was like, hell yes. So I was like, I got to find a way to fucking import WordPerfect files into something usable. Final Draft could not handle it. They were a screenwriting program, and they're like, we've never heard of this. So I finally figured it out. I got a fucking uploader, and then I called her, Shandra is her name, and I said, hey, um, I just finished my first screenplay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 10 years after I read it, I'm like, I'm just f- finishing the final touches on it. Uh, I'll have something ready for you next week. And she was like, fucking sweet, I can't wait for this. <laughs> then I read it, and man, uh, I don't know if you guys are performers at all, if you bomb ever, that you get this cold sweat where it's like you're not hot, but you're also very hot. Hey, what's up, Frosty? And uh, that's what I was reading. It, it was a pile of garbage. It was shit. Uh, and I didn't know what to do. So I just called her, and I was like, hey, I'm a liar. Uh, <laughs> It was a, a screenplay I wrote in college, and it was fucking terrible. Um, but anyway, I thought it was legitimately good. I thought it was the best one in the class, like easily the best one in the class. I was wrong. <laughs> and so for 20 years, that screenplay, Shooter, would never see the light of day. But <laughs> through my friends, to help my friends, Danish and O'Neill, they've been mocking it for the last four years or so on my podcast. Um, and we decided to have a table read. We decided to let it see the light. So you guys are all here for that. What a momentous, momentous occasion this is going to be. Oh, this is his script. Okay. So here's the deal. I wrote uh, far too many parts into this. I didn't know how you're supposed to fucking combine. There's two professors for no reason at all. Separated. They don't have any dialogue with each other. They're just one professor and then, hey, hire another actor for almost the identical role. Uh... So, because I wrote so many fucking parts in there, I'm going to need some of you guys to read uh, some of these roles. Uh, who, so, who would like to be Professor Miller, Professor Duva, and Broadcaster 2? Okay, over there, young lady. Per- perfect. Actually, just so you know, when I wrote this script, I did not think it was possible for a woman to play Professor. Uh, or definitely sports broadcaster, so it's really in the face of that Ari from back then. 
broadcaster, a woman. <laughs> what will they think of next? Uh, okay, we'll go over this in a second. Uh, by the way, we're going to have a little bit of a drinking game slash vaping game. Vaping's not allowed. Um, <laughs> while we do this, anytime uh, I go over uh, a, a, a character's facial reactions for no reason at all, you're not really supposed to do that, but... <sighs> I write uh, whatever character frowns quite often, <laughs> looks down at his plate, frowns again, and then says, there's no reason to write that in there. I've written it in multiple times. So as we do that, uh, as they come up, everybody just give a, like, a loud, like, cheers, and then just fucking drink whatever you want to drink. You don't have to drink if you don't want to, but give the cheers. Uh, who would like to play the parts of both He-Man... <sighs> By the way, no rights were got... I, I don't know why I think I'd be able to... Okay, He-Man, you were also uh, University of North Carolina standout Scott Cherry. <laughs> uh, he got quality minutes in 92. I don't know if you remember him. White guy, went on to coach at the high school level. Okay, for this one, this is pretty much the rest of the basketball team. I would really prefer a black person for this. Uh, the characters' names, you can tell I, I had known three of them total when I wrote this. Daryl, Terrence, Romel, Rodney, and Mike. Mike could go either way, probably. He could have been a guard, I guess. Man, I do not have any black people in my fan base, do I? This is something I gotta work on. I am looking at a sea of fucking... Jew is so close to black, but not quite there. <laughs> God damn, I don't have a single fucking... No, I need a dude for this. Oh, you're a dude. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Okay. There's no... Bl I don't have a single fucking black person in my audience. I guess all my guests are white. Is that true? No, I had LACD gone. All right. And then lastly, I guess, this is pretty much all the old people. There's a lot of old people in this. Okay, I tell you what, why don't you, the three of you, fucking share, and you too, it'll be Mike. <laughs> you'll see the lines are highlighted in there, and then you'll just be the old people, so. <sighs> okay, I'm going to introduce our dais. <laughs> First time I've used that word. Uh, it's going to be fun as shit, you guys. Wait, black person, how, oh, he's the bouncer. Okay, great, that's why I couldn't find him earlier. I was like, I was looking for one. And I was like, what's he doing? Oh, they're telling those people to stand up. Okay, that's not an audience member for sure. Yeah, you can't sit on the fucking chair, you fucking asshole. Steps, fire hazard. Uh, <laughs> all right, where are we at now? Okay, by the way, so when it's time for your line, fucking find a line, doofus. What's your first line? Just any, any line, any line that's highlighted. Yeah. Okay, what's my line right before that? Or what's the line right before that? And then your line is... No, it's idiot. One of the highlighted lines. All right, we got to get to this. The point is this. When it's your turn to talk, you got to fucking yell, yell, I guess. Or just talk really loudly because you won't have a microphone. So try one right now. Blah, blah, blah. Lead in line. C plus. I need you to be a little louder, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready for these people? Oh, we got such a wonderful time. First, I'm gonna introduce uh, the guys who are gonna be, who really helped me bring this to light. Uh, you know from the Danish and O'Neill podcast. Uh, they're every 50th guest on my own podcast. Please welcome Danish and O'Neill, everybody. Ryan O'Neill and Jeff Danis. You guys are on the end over there. Uh, and then in order of least lines to most lines, we have uh, from... Fuck it. Oh, the Come Town podcast. Stavros Halkios, everybody, straight from Greaseland. <laughs> Bay Ridge's finest. A better Greek, in my opinion, than the Greek who's sitting down now. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Giannis Papas, let him hear it. Yeah. Oh, we need another chair. Fuck. I need another chair. Oh, well. Yeah, take that for a second. Uh, uh, who we got here? Yeah, right here. Yeah. I need. Hey. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll stand. Take this one. We'll figure it out. But I need one more chair. Uh, yeah, here. 
Oh, this is so fucking disorganized. I'm already cold sweating again. <laughs> You're doing great, got? Ari. Thank you very much. Okay. He just did a Netflix 15-minute special. One of the best comics in New York. He's just did a uh, tour of New York City. It's going to be a Comedy Central show very soon. Please welcome Mr. Tim Dillon, everybody. Let him hear it. Jimmy. Playing the role of Dan. One of the more important roles. Dan is who he's playing. Uh... I don't know who the other two people are here. Uh, playing a fucking a dickhead, an asshole. You might know him from his seminal comedy album, Skanks for the Memories. Please welcome Mr. David Tell, everybody. <laughs> Try that over for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very nice. You're over there, buddy. JP, that's your name. You're the fucking Johnny from Karate Kid. I stole every one of these characters, by the way. There was nothing original in any of this. Uh, you might know him for The Bonfire and his own comedy uh, Netflix 50, 30 minute special. Please welcome Mr. Dan Soder, everybody. Let him hear the lead role of Shooter. Can't win to bring this to life, Ari. <laughs> Thanks. Hell yes. And our final character just got here. I'm so happy to have her. Uh, you know her from her own HBO special. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite comics in the world. Please give it up. Miss Michelle Wolf, everybody. Let her hear. That's better than the last one I got was a Lady Dick. <laughs> <laughs> lady Dick. You guys can take these out if you want or do whatever. Oh, I think it's going to be necessary. There's a lot of movement in this script. I get it. Yeah. Okay, no, what happened to the extra chair? Stop real sharing. Never come around. No, we, hey, slide got, it over. You guys have no idea what you're in for. I spent the last two days smoking weed and reading this script. It's everything I wanted it to be. <laughs> it's, oh, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, We're going to skip large sections. Uh... Ari, quick question. Yes, sir. So when we talked to you on the phone the other day, you said you wrote this in college because you thought that if you had speed, you would have made it in basketball. Okay, here's the basic premise of this. Keep in mind, uh, I've played basketball with you. Yeah. And that is the least of your problems. You played with me when I got worse. I had a better shot earlier on. I thought my shot was good enough to play in NCAA Division I <laughs> basketball. I just need a little more speed. How much did you want the nickname Shooter? So bad. <laughs> I did actually have a nickname when I played, uh, and it was Turtle, which should tell you how slow I was. And that's among other Jews? <laughs> no, I play with black people on the playground. <laughs> and then I took that nickname in. Okay, so I'm going to read the stage direction. Uh, do you guys have any it questions? It is registered with the WGA. Thank you very much. It is registered with the Writers Guild of America hey, East. He might be a lot of things, but he's no fucking scab, all right? <laughs> Ari, though, this is a great insight into your psyche. Because all of these characters are a part of you. Yeah, I guess they are. I, I don't know how to write. Well, there's also characters. one in particular, Dan, who has uh, an obsession with food. Do you want to get a little into that? Yeah, I had an eating disorder in college. Uh, <laughs> Is that what I'm playing, Dan? Yeah, yeah I got playing. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was anorexic for about two years, and uh, my friend Dan, who I think was Brian Manning, uh, the ambassador's son from Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, Name he would, dropper. Yeah. He would eat normal amounts of food, and I would just mock him, I guess, for doing that. Dave, how, much, how much did you weigh in college? 145. Jesus. Wow. Oh, yeah. I Why were you good. such a fat hog? <laughs> All right. So anytime also you hear any sort of... Um, Food-related non-jokes, I guess. That's another drink situation. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Here we go. By the way, do we have... Yeah, we do. Okay. Who's Mr. Adams? Shooter's father. Did we put that in there? You are. Oh, fuck. So I don't even have the first lines. <laughs> Shooter Adams, a 10-year-old boy, is shooting baskets on his rim over the garage. By the way, this is just like fucking Kingpin. I'm already realizing that. He shoots from halfway down the foul line, makes it, ball bounces back to him without moving, makes another one, repeats it a few times, and then Mr. Adams, his dad, steps onto the porch. You're getting pretty good there, 
<laughs> okay. This, it takes place great. in modern day. It takes place in this the 20s. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I didn't I know totally a shooter lived that. on a plantation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think this is slavery it's ball a basketball play and everyone up here is white, that voice is appropriate. That is perfect. <laughs> I sure am. I'm going to grow up and be You're the right. best there ever was. Come on, shooter. <laughs> You're doing good, see? Mr. Adams, it's your line again. <laughs> it's a lot of money in 1932, by the way. <laughs> Shooter turns back to the basket, sets himself, shoots the first shot. Swish. Pumps his fist, fetches the ball, glancing at his father, who is smiling. <laughs> Wait, that guy better be smiling in the crowd, all right? Cheers. Do not take me out of character. I will be fucking pissed. Setting himself, Shooter takes a deep breath and shoots the next shot. It switches as well. Shooter jumps up. Then he does his celebration dance. Ooh, Angawa! <laughs> I've got the power! <laughs> Wait, time out, time out. Ari! What, this, this is in the script multiple times. What the fuck is that? Was this your attempt at a catchphrase? <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> Ungawa. I believe, first of all, I did not expect this to still hurt. Uh, I thought I had enough distance from it where I didn't think I'd feel connected to it, but um, I was wrong. I believe that was a sleepaway camp chant during Color War. I was very privileged when I grew up. Is, is that when you guys brought the black kids in for a week? Yeah, I went to, uh, no, we never did that. No, it was a Jewish sleepaway oh, camp. Oh, different thing. Later, I graduated to horseback riding camp. <laughs> what was the uh, mantra for that? Uh, Still, Uangawa, we got the power? <laughs> no, nah, that was just a st- that wasn't a sleep away. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Mr. Adams laughs, reaches into his pocket. He pulls out a dollar bill and extends his hand towards Shooter, who runs overly and happily takes the money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he just got himself a nickname right there. Oh. <laughs> Scene one, page one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adams must have shoot his hair. Shooter smiles and looks Drink. again at his dollar bill. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> After a few seconds, he puts the money back in his pocket, goes back to shooting baskets. Mr. Adams continues to watch. <laughs> Mr. Adams. You're fired. I've made an executive decision. Giannis, take over from Mr. Adams just for this part. <laughs> you think you can hit those shots with some pressure on you? Shooter shoots another shot, makes it, and turns to his father. T- no, 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 you're done. I fired you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> recasting. <laughs> you're going to come back in later, Tough but business. i got to get this moving. So uh, just for the beginning. Uh, you'll Tell have you later what. Shoots. Tell you what. This time you get $20 if you make the two shots. But... If you miss, old lady Griffith gets to give you a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Griffith, can you come here for a moment? <laughs> Mr. Adams turns back to Shooter and looks at him in the eye. Next door, Miss Griffith, a kindly looking, short, wrinkled old woman, gets out of her chair and her porch and slowly hobbles next door towards Shooter and Mr. Adams. So, how about it, Shooter? Do we have a deal? Shooter looks down to the ground for a moment. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> he cocks his head towards the basket. Cheers. Have a good drink. Uh, he looks back at his father. Cheers. And then back at the ground. <laughs> Let's just count that as one, I guess. Uh, then he turns back to his father. All right. But isn't that your money for beer and whores? <laughs> <laughs> Got a lip. God damn, this sucks. <laughs> the name should have been perceptive. I'll tell Mrs. <laughs> I'll tell Mrs. Griffith to take her arthritis medication for this. Okay. Mr. Adams walks to the edge of the driveway to meet Mrs. Griffith. Shooter watches his father. Listen, okay, I'm gonna skip a bunch of this. Uh, they talk in silence and then they point at Shooter and then Mrs. Griffith smiles. That's Mrs. Griffith, everybody. Shooter smiles at her and sets himself to... You're not, okay, I'm going to ask uh, Shell and Dan. Uh, you've both done some acting. 
How much stage direction is normal? Uh, I would say you got to cut this by about a uh, 50th. <laughs> when you get into the script, you're just like, this is all... St-. You don't let... If this were to be filmed, you wouldn't let the actors make no decisions. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, do it the way it's written! Yeah, it's all in the script! They'd have to memorize, like, when they grin and <laughs> when, <laughs> when you put an arm on someone's shoulder. That's like. not okay. That's not normal. Dave, you've been around. I say don't change a word. I love <laughs> the story The story of a man and a boy exchanging money. I love it. You can't, you know, <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the shooter voiceover. She probably doesn't even know what a wedgie is. I don't even think she knows where she is. <sighs> shooter looks up and stares at Mrs. Griffith. All right. Uh, he looks at his dad, holding out a finger, saying, one more shot. Well, he makes it. You can't skip that part. Oh, yeah, he makes it. He makes the he first makes shot. One. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is so embarrassing that I'm just skipping. <laughs> oh, no, dude. You got to just lay it. He sets himself again, shoots the first shot. It rounds around the rim, goes in, <laughs> pumps his fist, gets that ball. Looks at his dad, who's holding up his finger, indicating one more shot. All right, one more shot. Nice and easy. There's no reason for <laughs> Just stay calm. Shooter looks up at Mrs. Griffith. I'll take that money in a second, Mrs. Griffith. No. Wow. Yeah! Wow. Hell yeah. Edgy Mrs. Griffith. Yeah, a little more that, huh? Mrs. She- Griffith likes to drink. <laughs> She's not what we thought she was. Yeah, I thought old ladies were nice. <laughs> Shooter stares at her with open eyes wide, his mouth slightly open. Uh, <laughs> slightly open. Excuse what? me. <laughs> Your mouth is too open. Shut it a little bit. That's slightly. I feel like this is better for actors because they don't just need to show up. Yeah, tell them exactly know. what to do. Zero prep. Open those eyes just a little bit. This is David Mamet. He looks at his father, who's grinning from ear to ear. Shooter looks back at Mrs. Griffith, who taps her watch and then points to the basket. Shooter dribbles the ball a few times, looks at the rim, takes a deep breath, dribbles again. Mrs. Griffith puts her hand on his shoulder. (laughs) A lot of this should be cut. Shooter looks at her for another moment, then shakes his head and looks at the basket. In slow motion, he dribbles the ball twice and sets. Okay, as he shoots, the first um, uh, musical cue comes in. I have left that in uh, the other room. So (laughs) I want you guys to remember. Do you guys know? I don't even know how to say that. I think it's the... Yeah. Talk about yourself. This this entire script, when you read it in one sitting, feels like a dude did a bunch of blow. Wait, and you did this all in one sitting? Yeah, and then uh, it, a lot of it just mushed together. Uh, so I had like to go 150 back. pages left. <laughs> yeah. We don't know because there's no yeah, page numbers insane. on this. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you write it on Microsoft Word. Yeah. Right. Dude, you should have seen how happy I was when I find the file format. When I was like, I can import it. I can do this. I was so fucking stoked. Okay. I just got here. When did this movie come out? Uh, <laughs> this is a, these are all executives, Dave. We're uh, trying to pitch it right now. He's crowdsourcing this. How long did it take you to come up with a nickname Shooter? That's a good one. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I think it was right after I watched um, Happy Gilmore. Yeah. <laughs> you can see very clearly all the Adam Sandler films that uh, influenced me here. So this is what when shooters shoot it, he releases the ball. (laughs) He releases the ball. (laughs) It slowly rises. You can feel it though, right? This could have been a movie. (laughs) (laughs) Hits the back of the rim, bounces around as the song reaches first climax. I talked to Ars Joss for that. He gave me the rights. Uh, The rim for a moment and falls out. Shooter's face turns from hopeful to disappointed to frightened as he looks at Mrs. Griffith and makes his move to run. She grabs his shoulder, reaches into his pants as his face turns away from her. The song reaches the second climax. 
<laughs> as she yanks up on his underwear, lifting him off the ground. Yeah. Jesus. His mouth opens up in a scream in slow motion. Yeah. Fade out. Fade in. Gymnasium day. <laughs> Guys, time has passed. I ain't a kid no more. Bunch of credits. Okay. Now, Shooter, 21 years old, as he's playing right now in Billions, also playing the same exact age. <laughs> yeah, years I don't old. think so. Daniel Soder. And Dan, the young svelte young college student, uh, are sitting eating lunch in Central State University cafeteria. Central State University cafeteria. <laughs> mm, That's some straight up Saved by the Bell writing right there. Yeah. Uh. Dan raises. Okay, shooter's nervously tapping a spoon in his tray. Dan raises his eyes from his food and looks at the spoon. Then he looks back down and takes a bite. <laughs> <some> <laughs> fucking bite of his meal. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> I'm eating the food. <laughs> oh, Shooter looks at Dan, glances at, glances at his spoon, <laughs> and then stops tapping. He looks back up at Dan. No, I'm ready. I'm in shape. My shot's on. I've got no nerves. <laughs> and why is this going to be the year you don't get cut, Shooter? I got a new attitude, Mr. Negative. <laughs> it's my last try. <laughs> it's my last try. You tell him, Shooter. I'm under pressure, and I always perform under pressure ever since I was a kid. <laughs> anyway, I'm a senior, and I'm due. This is, this is the best after-school special I've ever heard read aloud. <laughs> Beautiful dialogue. Yeah, you're going to see more and more of this is clearly written by a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Jenny Latz, uh, played by the wonderful Michelle Wolf, walks by their table, and they both gawk as she passes by. As people. <laughs> <laughs> she is wearing a black miniskirt. Um, I'm sorry, I'm setting up the next musical cue. Uh, a white crop top, and she does not notice them and sits down at a nearby table with a few other girls. Shooter and Dan continue to stare for a moment, and they both shake their heads rapidly and revive themselves from their trance. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing. I'm going to get Jenny Latz to go out with me. <laughs> Don't laugh when there's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop. You can't keep a package like this out of the spotlight forever, fool. <laughs> Dan points to shooters. Why don't food. you worry about what's on your plate before you take over the world there, Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's... Uh... The end of that scene that sets the plot right there. It's called exposition. Foreshadowing. Oh. Is this how you spoke in college? Is that what? Is this how you talk to people in college? Like I Mr. Believe, T? I believe I did. Yeah. You can't keep sure. a package out like this out of the spotlight forever, fool. It would have been tongue in cheek. I'm not sure. I'm a big fan of calling people Mr. Negative. I think that's great. <laughs> I use that today. Was calling him Caesar, is that a diss or is that a compliment? Uh, it's being sarcastic. I think I just learned who Caesar was, and he was also <laughs> trying to take over the world. Uh-huh. Possibly that. Shooter and about 40 other men are getting... Dr- oh, interior locker room night. It's not going to get that hot. Uh, are getting dressed to play basketball. Shooter is stretching on a bench when J.P. Cutler... Let's just call him J.P. because it's going to be another character named Cutler later. <laughs> no reason at all. Totally unrelated, though, to J.P., right? Completely unrelated. It's a small town. Small university. JP only walks into the locker room, sits next to him. JP frowns at Shooter, cheers, and slowly shakes his head back and forth. So that's me now. That's right? you now, Dave. Okay, yeah, good. this is where you've, all your work is paid off. My character is the bad guy. Yeah, some would say that. I would like to give him a reason for his badness. Okay, absolutely. Um, okay, he has a not so um, naive stutter. Interesting choice. <laughs> this is about overcoming, okay? <laughs> it's and public insult today. He's gender fluid or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good I mean, question. Wow, you really left a lot yeah. of... I mean, <laughs> way to bring this script to in. You, you did all the facial expressions. There's no uh, expression of that, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ari did write this to be played by man or a woman. I started it already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it's so sad how you come out here every year just to get <laughs> not picked. <laughs> hey, you should try out for the. 
cheerleading team. <laughs> At least then you can get on the... K- 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 gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Shooter, gets, <laughs> Shooter gets up. Good choice, man. Really Great. good choices. Oscar worthy performance really, already. Really, quite good. <laughs> Shooter gets up and, and walks towards the door of his room. We hear the sound. Oh, I'm sorry. Sound of JP <coughs> laughing. We did that. And then Shooter rolls his eyes and shakes his head. Interior of gymnasium day. Coach Lewis, who do we got there? Right here. Giannis Papas from Greece is standing in front of all the other players trying out, and they're all standing at the center of the court facing him. He has a whistle around his neck and a clipboard in his hand. Uh, coach, pretty much. I was just saying, he's a coach. Just traditional. He's a traditional coach. Yeah, because you might have be able to hire a wardrobe person who could easily decide that he'll have a whistle around his neck. <laughs> Look at this fucking exposition coming your way, people. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, it's funny. When you hold it up like that, it looks like a manual. It does. It's like... You guys want to learn how to program MS-DOS? <laughs> Holy for, uh, my computer, fucking For the computer shit. fans in the audience. You don't have an Xbox or anything? <laughs> it's 98. He had nothing oh, but so, time. Oh, sorry, sorry. I had a teacher okaying this, by the way. I believe I got an A-. minus. <laughs> What's up, girls? Welcome to tryouts. Nice choice, nice I choice. Added, yeah, I added, yeah, the, the girls, yeah. Interesting choice. Yeah, he's a tough coach. Listen, girls, we don't need anybody. So unless you impress me, I'm not taking anyone new. Three days. Now let's see some hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys are white. You know, go for the loose balls is what I'm saying. Okay, now here, I've got to skip a lot of this shit. It's I mean, just, oh, no. Look at there's, that. there's no facial expressions. Don't <laughs> rob these none. people. All right, give they them t- one taste of one of these extreme actions. <laughs> yeah. No one's seen a basketball game, a high school basketball game. Ever. If, if you read this script, you would know how to run drills at a basketball practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a coaching That's how manual. detailed it is. <laughs> it's like you took a coaching manual and you just added dialogue to it. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking quatrain. I don't even know what you're doing there. <laughs> Players are split up on four baskets around the gym. They shoot shooting drills. Each basket has barrels on the floor. One's near the other basket. Slow one's down. on the edge of the Line foul one. Line. One is at the top of the three-point line. <laughs> it's just a co- they all, oh, Jesus Christ. A minus. Anyway, he does well. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just got my formatting down. It's- Let's just say in this scene, Shooter lives up to the nickname. Oh, okay. <laughs> he shoots really well, and the coaches are impressed. Like, oh, who's this? <laughs> Who the Wait, fuck you, you think? You can't skip the best part. Most of the players make between five and seven baskets. <laughs> yeah. Just so you guys, if you were if you were curious, that's exactly. Yeah, that's true. this team doesn't yeah. shoot the lights out. They're two, defense heavy. Yeah. Two also, points. JP makes eight his first time. <laughs> Shooter, <laughs> all nine, all nine. Kid is money water. He, he outdoes. He outdoes. Wet, JP. just wet from just, the three point line. Yeah. So if you were going to shoot this, Ari, you would just let JP make eight shots, and then the camera would just pan over and watch Shooter make all nine the whole time. <laughs> I'd probably put him maybe back to back split screen. And, uh, oh, good idea. Yeah, let him shoot all nine and then see one rim out. Were you motivated by watching He Got Game and you're like, what if Ray Allen was white and slow? <laughs> by the way, that's a good uh, segue. All right, weren't you playing on the University of Maryland's women's practice basketball team at the time? It was, that's true. I played on Cofield House. I was a practice player for the women's basketball team at the University of Maryland. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. across Which is the a street. great example of how much better men are at sports than women. <laughs> it really is. They were starting in Division One. Were you good on the team? I was not bad. <laughs> I got some blocked shots. They're short. <laughs> were you just sending <laughs> fucking shots? Like, yeah. punk! And talking trash. I was painting my nails back then, too. If you want to leave, you're not wrong, too, by the way. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, okay, so now I guess we have... Uh, the first list of cuts for the basketball team. Oh. There's a bunch of people out there, and then uh, Shooter reads his name. I'm He's not on the list of cuts. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 Okay, yeah. great. He starts giving high fives to the other players. <sighs> Walks up to a nearby player who's facing the wall and pats him on the back. Shooter is smiling broadly. Hey, buddy. <laughs> The player turns around. There's tears streaming down his frowning face. 
Shooter continues, Shooter continues to stare at him with a smile on his own face. Slowly, the smile starts to fade away. Um, did you make the cut? <laughs> <laughs> He's a sensitive kid, huh? Shooter's a good kid, yeah. He cares about people. The player turns and walks away, and Shooter just stands there, grimacing. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shooter's in, his, in Dan's dorm room now. Dan's his friend. Uh, uh, anyway, he's celebrating. Oh, you're not going to read this? Yeah. Dude, some of this description is great. Let's yeah, do you it. got this one's good. You got to do, do this one. Oh, okay, yeah. Shooter throws up on the door to Dan's room and stands in his entrance. He is doing his Superman imitation with his hands <laughs> at his hips and his fist <laughs> and his head turned up. Oh, that's what a Superman is. <laughs> Dan, oh, <laughs> Dan is watching television from his bed. He turns to look at Shooter. Could I be more disgusting in this? <laughs> is Dan is drinking his food through a straw in his bed. I, I should have read this bottle. before I came here to be By the way, I la- shamed. I later found out that, that Brian had depression, and that's why he was always in his bed. <laughs> uh, shooter dances into the room. Ooh, Angawa, Shooter's got the power. I said, ooh, Angawa, Shooter's got the power. So good you had to say it twice. In the first ten pages, by the way. Yeah, dude. That's how you get a fucking catchphrase over, dude. You know, Dan, I think I should quit. You throw a ball into a big circle. It's too easy. <laughs> Shooter pulls the chair off from the desk and sits down. He looks at Dan and smiles. If you want a challenge, why don't you try taking a fucking shower? Wow. I will say Whoa. the F word is not in there, but we've decided to make it a hard PG-13. <laughs> wow. Dan gets up and pushes Shooter, who falls onto the floor. Shooter gets up and starts to l- looking through Dan's collection of videotapes. What? <laughs> I'm also a pedophile just to let everyone know in addition to being a fat slob who doesn't leave his bed you just have a library Spoiler of VHS's alert. Uh, one of is missing labeled, children yeah one's labeled Chuck E. Cheese bathroom tape <laughs> how would you lure kids to your bedroom it's yeah, hard to get them we'll all see. the way in. we'll see on page 308 <laughs> I'm gonna guess with snacks <laughs> Uh, if I'm remembering now, uh, Brian Manning also consistently ordered those Girls Gone Wild tapes oh, and had them filling up his room. Respect. Could have been that. What a lack of detail. That would have been great for this. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Dan picks up a can of spray deodorant and sprays the chair shooter was sitting in. We can't all smell fresh as uh, Summer's Eve like you, Dan. <laughs> Some of us don't have the money to douche twice a day. I, d- wow. I don't think I like Shooter. Okay. Oh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Shooter takes a video, a VCR tape, puts it in there, and it's a basketball game playing. Um, and then they keep talking. So, seriously, congratulations. <laughs> you actually have a chance. A chance? A chance? I'm already thinking about getting to the final four. Dan rolls his eyes and moans. Oh. Are you having issues again? Oh, that's, oh yeah. Okay. That's you continued. Sorry, I spaced it wrong. It's all right. Where it's all the way to the left. Hey, speaking of final fours, I forgot to pay your mom for our last four sessions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, play up. Woo, you got him. So <laughs> give her this and tell her to keep the change for a job well done. Wow. Oh, man. I like it. <laughs> what year was it? Zero to a hundred. <laughs> wow. Michelle, Michelle does not want to be called Mr. Negative. Yeah. How, how'd you not get on that uh, Vilma Valderrama, Yo Mama show on yeah. MTV with yeah. jokes like that? <laughs> Oh, there were two guys here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. This stage direct. Shooter pulls a quarter off the nightstand and hands it to Dan. Dan slaps the quarter out of Shooter's hands. Oh, there were two guys looking for you today. They said they were worried because they hadn't seen you in a while. Who were they? Soap and water, you stinky bitch. Take a damn shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, he okay. didn't. At, th- at this point, John Cutler, that's the other John, uh, walks in and nods. John is five foot seven and 120 pounds. That's who will exactly be played my, by? Yep, that's my uh, <laughs> very uh, round. Exactly right. Stavros Halkios. He still has braces on and he looks about 16, which is not. Pedophiles do yeah. love you. <laughs> what you doing, guys? 
<laughs> watching videos. We just saw one with your mom. It was the one where the accountant comes home from the office and finds your mother in the hot tub with the plumber, and then he got the maid, and they all went in it together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one. Now we're watching basketball. Dan looks at Shooter. Shooter nods his head in agreement. John smiles thinly. <laughs> Wait, is that a fat joke at Dan? Yeah. Slowly shaking his head, then he turns to Shooter. How were tryouts? Did JP say anything? He was there. He may have said something, but it was full of stutters. <laughs> <laughs> I run into so many people every day, it's hard to remember. I made first cuts. Shooter picks up the collar of his T-shirt, holds it to his nose. Wow, I've really got to take a shower. This is so, so long on that joke for no payoff. <laughs> he walks over to John, puts a hand on his shoulder. Your mother's quite a woman. Quite a woman indeed. <laughs> you don't find many porn stars of her caliber anymore. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay, he leaves. I uh, just take that? John just takes both of those things? About oh, yeah, dude. John's bottom, bitch. Oh, fuck, dude. This is bullshit. Yeah, Meaning John's the most loyal. He should not be a character. There's no reason to have you. You really are just Dan. Wasn't there a two Cutler minimum on scripts in the 90s? <laughs> yeah. two cutler, cutler family had a fucking first rights. Okay, now they're in the cafeteria. Uh, uh, Dan's sitting there with a tray of food. Just one? Just yeah. one tray? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then well, Shooter comes in. I smell you've taken a shower. Why is it that every time I see you here, you're eating chicken? Doesn't it ever get boring eating the same meal day after day? Why is it that you care so much about what I eat? Do me a favor and mind your own damn business. I like this, so I eat it. <laughs> how, pain, how painful will this get for me to say these lines? <laughs> uh, keep going. Come on. It gets... Dan shakes his head in mock anger. but He stops smiling and says, okay, okay. Here, Dan starts to say grace to himself. He's a religious man. Uh-oh. Shooter uh, looks at him and nudges Dan's shoulder, first gently, and then even harder. Dan! Dan, are you okay? Dan, what's the matter? You're going into a trance or something. Should I call 911? Oh, my God, will someone help me? My friend is having a seizure. People at other tables look up at the commotion and stare in Shooter's direction. Dan starts to laugh as he opens his eyes and looks at Shooter. <laughs> will you please let me be? Oh. <laughs> Just eat this chicken <laughs> in my bed. <laughs> Your 600-pound life. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, this is facial direction. I apologize. We'll yeah. skip over this. Yeah. But everyone up. take a drink. It's okay, everybody. He's all right. Thanks for your concern, really. Thanks so much, all of you. Let's give him a round of applause. He's going to be fine. He's going to be okay. Come on. Oh, that's nice. Okay, they all start to clap. He picks up Dan's hand, and the applause starts to fade away. Wow, yeah. This is a, big, a big stage direction. One. Check that Jesus one out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that. Get ready to move. Why By can't I go? Yeah, go get a cigarette. Go get a cigarette. I'll, I'll call you when it's your turn again. For you sure. Walked <laughs> you walked him. He specifically wanted a part that gave him cigarette. All right, place. realistically, I think this is page five. <laughs> There are no page numbers on here. I know. Page estimate. numbers do not exist in the shooter universe. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Stage directions has the most lines is the lead in this play. Without the stage directions, this is 18 pages. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please read this whole chunk? Uh, no. But then I, he walks in again. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, when that happens, you know, it's like slow motion. Uh, she walks in, and then the slow motion stops. It looks away, and then it's actually Shooter who was singing that music. Oh, shit. That's a 30-second setup to that. I should okay. call them singer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why, oh, fuck. why can't I go anywhere with you? Be still, you whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, and then the, then the choral stuff. Uh, anyway, they go back and forth. Let's just move on to the next. Okay. Hurt me, baby. Hurt me, baby. I punched him in the arm because he was laughing at me. That's why. I, that's what's in that chunk. I thought it was sex. Shooter right. turns back to his meal and glances back in Jenny's direction. I have an aching for her that goes all the way to my loins. <laughs> I am so sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry to involve you in this. You're better than this. That's just your herpes. <laughs> Shooter finishes his last few bites of food from his plate. Cheers. And then uh, looks over at his watch. He stands up and slings his knapsack over his shoulder. 
I got to go to class. I'll see you later. Dan takes a few large bites from his chicken and puts up his finger for Shooter to wait. <laughs> is he using his hands or silverware? <laughs> Just his hands, I think. Okay. Is it my chicken like a live chicken? Or is it, <laughs> is it at least something they sell at oh, the Jesus. school? <laughs> no, you bring in your own chicken. <laughs> you BYOC. <laughs> wait up. I'll go with you. I'm not going to finish this anyway. See? You're not a glut. Yeah, I'm putting it away. Okay, 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 okay. Why is that part in red? I, uh, the red Why is, is because, that in red? It's because it, O'Neal circle is because it's the food issues. He's talking about how he's not going to finish his food, how he then later grabs more food to put it back in his mouth. Guys, we're, we're going to move forward to the massive introduction of Shooter and Jenny. Okay. Uh, he walks by her. She gets out of her chair, and they pretty much he bowls her over pretty much by accident. Doesn't know it's her. Sorry. <laughs> Jenny turns to face him and suddenly realizes who it is. And he's, he suddenly realizes who it is. It's you again. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't... I mean, I didn't... <laughs> Do you guys get it? He's not comfortable around Jenny. Where? And if you didn't get it, the stage direction afterwards says, Shooter trails off, still mumbling. So if you didn't... Yeah, Dan's behind him, and then Jenny turns to look at the person who nearly walked over. When she does, she smiles. Again, for no... <laughs> um, that's okay. Um, <laughs> hey, weren't you in my history class last semester? That's a great college. <laughs> uh, Shooter just stands there and says nothing. He's a fucking awkward dork. Uh, she just keeps smiling and smiling and smiling, and then it gets weird. Well, um, okay, I gotta go to class. <laughs> so um, I'll see you later. <laughs> she stands here for a couple seconds, then just leaves, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Shooter continues to stare as she turns away. Dan Sex shakes himself out of his own trance, quickly slaps Shooter hard on both sides of the head. <laughs> Ow! Oh, uh, no, Owanga there? Owanga. No, no, that one? Dude, no, no he should have put one so. right he didn't, there. He didn't have any reason to celebrate. Uh, he true. tries to look at Dan, but Come Dan shoves yeah, him towards Jenny before he gets all the way around. Uh, anyway, he, he pushes Shooter towards Jenny. I, um, I'm going that way, too, to Lincoln Hall, so I can... Um, ow. Yeah, I think he hits him again there, I paid a guess. I can walk over there with you? So Jenny smiles, and then uh, they go off together. Uh, she has a half-eaten piece of chicken on her plate and a cupcake. Uh, Dan eats both of those. <laughs> I swear to God, that's in there. I mean, yeah. this is... Can I go home? Like, <laughs> I think Ari wrote this 20 years ahead just to troll Tim. Yeah. Uh, I think this is an intervention for me. <laughs> I don't think there is a script. <laughs> it's a well-written intervention, at least. Yeah, no. <laughs> By the way, wait, there's a twist with Dad's character that you're going to love even I'm more. Getting, I'm getting out. very excited. Okay, let's go to where Shooter says, so I hear up for some awards. Oh, Jenny and Shooter are on their date, everybody. This is a big moment for him. Jenny and Shooter are on their date, bottom of that page. So I hear you're up for some award or something? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is how Soder is on a normal date. Oh, yeah, no, it's not far <laughs> off. Oh, I guess I heard wrong. So you live in Talbot Hall? Do you like it there? Yeah, but how did you know? Flashback. <laughs> Flash motherfucking back. Shooter is standing at the window. The blinds are down, but he's pulled down on some to make an opening. He's looking through a pair of binoculars. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen a character go between protagonist and antagonist <laughs> wow. so quickly. I mean, Walter White, fuck that shit. <laughs> Shooter Adams, baby. It was 1998. It was a different time. Yeah, this is pre-me, too. I, I, a lot of freshman orientations, they would give you binoculars for this yeah. reason. <laughs> Come on, baby. Walk by the window just once. Do it for your sugar daddy. Jesus <laughs> This is so fucking bad. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That was great. What was going on in your head when you wrote God that? Oh. I thought like, that was normal behavior. Again, I was a virgin. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. Didn't they put cameras Who was in your the teacher in college that gave us an A minus? Was he a convicted <laughs> he goes, sex offender? He goes, it was a woman. By the way, I love that Shooter cares a pair of Beanox in his dorm room. <laughs> I do the same thing, man. All right, stay after class. Let's look at some pictures on my computer. <laughs> I have so much respect for your joke right now, knowing that it came from this horse shit. You know, it came a long way. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, then it flashes back to reality. I must have passed by when you were walking in or something. 
Where do you live? Across the quad in Jefferson Hall. I've had a single for the last two semesters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's a good dorm room. <laughs> I did have and a And that never room. comes back into play in this screenplay again. <laughs> you're absolutely right. It doesn't come back in once. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. I totally forgot about all the weird stuff that happened. <laughs> I've got a roommate, but she's, like, not around much, so it's kind of cool. At home, I have my own room, too. Because I wet my bed until I was 17, and one day my brother got mad because of the smell and all and ran away from home. The smell and all. Yeah, I guess the flies that go with it. Um, Anyway, he looks at her, and then she's not really sure what's going on. Oh, that's awful. It's not so bad. We haven't seen him for like five years, but like I said, I got my own room. <laughs> she, she looks at Shooter. I guess she's getting that this maybe it's a joke. Boy, my mom didn't think it was that funny. Hey, there's this guy in my dorm who brushes his teeth like five times a day. <laughs> well, why would I want to know that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this because I feel like a doof if I don't. Um, do you want to, like, get together this weekend? Maybe get some dinner or a movie? Wait, aren't they on a date yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I thought so. It's a date in a date, dude. It's Inception. <laughs> no, I think that's you writing a note oh, this is just them walking. with your characters oh, okay. to yourself. By, by the way, that yeah. line, why, when I want to know this, should be the log line for this movie. <laughs> Shooter, why would I want to know this? Were you a bedwetter, Ari? Yeah, I was a bedwetter until about 16, so this <laughs> character is... Draw <laughs> art from life! He was more of a dork. He was still 17. All right, anyway. Uh, did you, if you put in 17, did you be like, now no one will know it's me? I was 16. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, here's what pretty much happens now. She gives him his number. Um, as he turns to walk away, a frisbee hits him in the face, and he just gushes blood. Um, she faints concern for him, and then, well, she's a concern. Wow, well, this is important, dude. Yeah, he's very slow, is what I'm saying. Well, up let's right get now. to the dialogue, because it explains it. Ari, I think they would call this the inciting incident. Okay, get to the dialogue at the bottom of it. Oh, no. Also, the fact that she just agreed and gave him his number, uh, that you should have been like, Jenny has a red flag. She's going on with this too easily. Yeah, no reason to give, him her, give her his number. Just what are you talking about? In a four-person college? What, what choices does she have? <laughs> Four fucking people in this whole college. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking Shooter or Dan. Yeah. And Dan's bedridden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a beautiful person. But... <laughs> Maybe Shooter was feeding Dan to try to get more ladies, get him bedridden. Wouldn't put it past. Oh no, are you okay? Why didn't you move? <laughs> I tried, but I guess it was moving too fast. Jenny puts her hand up in front of her mouth and gasps as Shooter turns around. Blood, heavy blood. Uh... Wait, was this a Chinese star frisbee? It just hit him right. I don't. I'm a bleeder. <laughs> Look at Ari's nose, please. Yeah. Oh, okay a then. Of, a lot of blood in that nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. I guess I'll call you on Friday then. Yeah, Friday. Uh, <laughs> she starts laughing. Good job. I, I'm really sorry. I'm laughing, shooter. <laughs> Really, we're on for Friday. <laughs> you know, I feel like we already have to... <laughs> Get to it. You know, I feel like we already have some kind of bond. <laughs> like, like, I know you, and I can tell you anything. <laughs> She's really? She's told him nothing. No, of course not. We just met. <laughs> Ooh, burn. Oh, what a fucking dick. Uh, he's okay. a strong woman. <laughs> so he's jumping around uh, and then puts the tissue back to his faith, walks out. Okay, now we're back in trials. This is big, and this should have been, probably he should have already made the team or not by now, but <laughs> second day of tryouts. <laughs> Coach Lewis. All right, congratulations on making it past the first day. I'm still going to cut half of you today, so don't get cocky. Uh, okay, James and Eddie, just keep going. James and Eddie, 
I'm going to show you guys the defensive turn drill. <laughs> so serious, bro. I love yeah. it. The point of this drill is to turn your opponent to the left and the right so that he can get a clear path to where he wants to go. Then he explains the drill in case you're thinking about running it later tonight. <laughs> wow, there's so much into this. He, yeah, he goes over it once. It's a drill-heavy script. Was this co-written by Bobby Knight? <laughs> uh. Okay, girls, let's split into pairs for this. Uh, okay, they do that, and then, okay, now JP comes in. Uh, they're, they're teamed up. They're okay, paired just, up against each other. I have to say something. <laughs> yes. Since, <laughs> since you last saw my character about 35 pages ago, <laughs> he has gone overseas. He's done a semester abroad. Oh. <laughs> and now he has uh, an accent. <laughs> With the stutter? I'm interested to see where he's going. No, studied. the stutter cleared up. He's <laughs> totally over that. <laughs> so he spent a semester in, in was England, it, England. Was it a prescribed semester at sea? To uh, he to did a semester at sea <laughs> in England on an English. Is this, uh, is this that Forrest Whitaker movie? Was that what this is based on? <laughs> okay, here we go. You're going down, Boyle. <laughs> You're going down. What are you like, Johnny from the Karate Kid? You're going down. Uh, where do you get this stuff? Uh, Listen up, laddie, you little punk. I don't know who you think you are or who you think you're impressing, boy, with your cute little games. But I don't care. All I know is party time is over. <laughs> Can I have a warm beer? <laughs> What's party time? The future is now, man. Okay, a bunch of Join other... us. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my God. By the way, good. full on drill. <laughs> Say what oh. you will, but Ari makes you run the drills <laughs> in practice. Some players laugh, and then they're, they're, they're hushed up by JP's stare. It's cold, high stare. And then uh, they run the drill a few times. JP gets kind of, kind of school shooter. He keeps stealing the ball from him. Uh, it's bad. brings in coach. Come on, shooter. Keep it at full speed. JP hands the ball to shooter. He just keeps stealing it from him over and over again. It's, kind of, it's fucking tough on him. He just keeps getting it stolen from him. All right, the other way. Let's see some defense now, shooter. <sighs> JP takes the ball at the baseline, stands up right, looking at shooter. Are you ready? <laughs> what <laughs> fucking <laughs> great choices. The Hannah Gasby of table roots. <laughs> <laughs> Shooter, <laughs> shooter gets set, defensive drill. JP shrugs his shoulders, starts dribbling, pass shooter in one step, and just outruns him down the court. Let's go, let's go. You got to catch up now. Coach Lewis shakes his head. Okay, second rounds of cuts. Unfortunately, shooter's on that list. Oh, man. Right? Poor yeah, shooter. you're feeling for him. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Shit. You should go to Dan's room. Get yeah, we should go crazy. to Dan's room. So, so now he's going to Dan's room, you know. Guess what Dan's up to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't know that yet. Hold on. Oh, actually, this is Shooter's room. He's just in there oh, by yeah. himself. Uh, Dan enters his room. Oh, they wheeled him in in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> he must have widened his doors. <laughs> Damn, it smells like acid here. No, it smells worse. It smells like your mom's ass. <laughs> oh, shit. A minus right there. That should have been an A. <laughs> Janice Adams did a goddamn good job raising Shooter. Dan, okay, I just want to read this quick one. Dan looks at Shooter. Shooter does not smile at all. He just keeps watching the screen. <laughs> Dan stops smiling, closes the door. Then he goes over to the window and opens it up. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, crap. Shooter, I'm sorry. What happened? I'm just too goddamn slow. I couldn't keep up with anybody the whole practice. <laughs> Dan looks at the screen for a, mo for a few moments. North Carolina? Kansas? Okay, you don't really know sports. Is uh, this the fun? I thought we were just doing states. You just go, North Carolina, Kansas? It's almost like a versus. What? Oh, oh North Carolina, Kansas. Like yeah, they're, they're playing, playing each other. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was listing types of barbecue. Yeah, you have to know. <laughs> I apologize. I was not prepared at all for the sports portion of the script. I haven't been a person up until now in your script. I've been job of the hut. Okay, so. Okay, great. North Carolina, Kansas, is this the final four game? 
You know who was a great player on this team? Scott Cherry. Scott Cherry sucked. He was like the last player off the bench for Carolina. Look, it's the last two minutes of the first half, and he's in the game. He tried out when he was a freshman, and there he is, a nobody, out on the floor in the first half of a Final Four game. It's a tie game. These are quality minutes. <sighs> I'm sorry, buddy. If you need anything, I'll be in my room eating and fucking kids. Because <laughs> I'm your best friend, Dan. And I'm what's known as a character witness. <laughs> okay, now we are... <laughs> we are back at a restaurant. It's daytime. Uh, Jenny, again, played by Michelle Wolf. You've seen her on Netflix's The Break with Michelle Wolf. She's also doing a no, national no tour going on that. right now. <laughs> She's on a national tour right now. You can find out all her dates at michellewolf.com, I assume. Yeah, okay. <laughs> MichelleIsAWolf.com. MichelleIsAWolf.com. My bad. Does Do someone you, else have MichelleWolf.com? I, I don't. I think so. I think it's like a photographer. Fuck <laughs> him. <laughs> That's probably Fuck a him. It's probably one. Okay, here we go. They're on their date. They're looking at their menus. Do you know what you're getting yet? Oh, I don't know. I can't decide between the grilled chicken and the tongue. <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Way to act it out. Read that description so they know I'm not bullshit. Shooter's mouth drops open slightly and he stares at Jenny. He has a disgusted look on his face. After a moment, she looks up at Shooter. What? Okay. Um, first of all, ew. <laughs> and second of all, I would definitely go with the grilled chicken. Uh, yeah. Whoa. I was just kidding. Uh, he gives him a half, half a smile and then looks back at his menu. <laughs> Real simple man, Shooter is. Is something wrong, Shooter? <laughs> I don't know. I got cut from the basketball team. Um, <laughs> steal your nerves. I'm sorry. What happened? I was fine. You know, I was shooting really well the first day, but I'm just way too slow. Too slow? We just met two days ago, and you already got me to go to dinner with you. You're plenty fat. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that is clearly written by a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to fuck so bad oh, when you were writing this. So you can taste so it. <laughs> you can feel it on the pages. Dinner's oh. like third base for you. Oh. Thanks. The waiter comes over to their table. Are you ready to order? Yes. Wow. She's on that. <laughs> she is on that. She plays a lot of roles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have the tongue. Shooter furrows his eyes. Not, not his brow. Cheers. <laughs> and what does his that mouth mean? drops Far open as his head recoils. <laughs> anyway, later on in the evening, they're laughing dude, with each other. What a controlling dude. You shall have the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shooter. I had a great time. Me too. Do you want to go out again sometime? It's sometime soon. Listen. <laughs> 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 Listen, no one knows anything about me, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a very one-dimensional character. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dan's Her meal plans hopes, have been no discussed. Can. We don't even know what color Dan's hair is. Dan might be the most Everyone developed knows character. that one day I wore a mini skirt and a crop top, and that's all yeah. you need to know about. It's all about Shooter's dreams here. Shooter, Listen. Shooter. <laughs> Movie's not called Jenny last time I checked. <laughs> Don't worry about me and why I eat tongue or anything like that. <laughs> Just try not to worry too much about the basketball stuff. I'm, mm. I'm sure you'll do better next year. <laughs> and what do I want to do? <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm graduating. This was like my destiny, you know? And now it's not going to happen. I guess I've got to come to grips. Thanks for tonight, though. All right. Uh, they, they look at each other for a moment, and then Shooter points over his shoulder. Well, I guess I should probably get going. Yeah, I guess I'll see you later. They're just awkward and stare at each other. Gets a kiss. Homeboy gets a kiss, though. Shooter smiles back, and they slowly lean towards each other and uh, kiss. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Woo. Shooter. Nice. I'd come up, but I'm not that kind of girl. Jenny laughs, laughs and pushes him away. <laughs> <laughs> As if they both, they both knew that, well, uh, clearly, fucking's out of the question. They both had a good date, and it was like, no, neither one of us think that's a possible <laughs> thing to do. We're both 21-year-olds. <laughs> 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 
Uh, all right, I'm going to skip a little bit here. Shooter comes in and takes a cold shower. He's so fucking bonered up, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, then he gets out, and on the TV is the same game, just that next page. Uh, Shooter's a real psycho. Yeah, he fast forwards it to when Scott Cherry gets in, and he sits down to watch. It's not fair. That should be me. That was supposed to be me. The tape suddenly stops, and He-Man is on. Of course. <laughs> Shooter looks at the remote, con- remote control, which is on the table. What the hell? Picks up the remote, presses play, nothing. Starts smashing the machine, you know, knocking it and shit. That's how you fix shit then. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, with his hand, with his other hand, Shooter bangs on the television again. We see a flash of light from the television. Electrical current runs through the VCR. This is the lightning bolt when I first read it, uh, when I first wrote it, and I guess I rewrote the lightning out of this. Anyway. Uh, That's what's holding us back, Ari, is that one mistake. <laughs> you, you rewrote it and changed that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the edits? <laughs> okay, we are now in an animated world, everybody. Oh, oh, Way before Quentin Tarantino did it in Kill Bill, I did it. But you uh, I think Paul, a movie called Cool World did it. Paul Abdul, too. Yeah, after those, but before Tarantino. <laughs> True. Uh, there's He-Man, an animated. He's running towards the camera. He slows down and stops over a man who is lying face down on the ground. <laughs> Good job, He-Man. <laughs> is that Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> <laughs> is that Mr. Adams? The man yeah. moans and starts to move. He-Man bends down and helps the man to his feet. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ, He-Man bro, wasted? You're He-Man. <laughs> He-Man, the heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a full nod. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Yeah, I think so. I'm just kind of, whoa, what the hell? (laughs) He-Man. He-Man stands up. (laughs) (laughs) Where the fuck am I? (laughs) He-Man puts his hands out in front of him and grimaces. E man studied abroad with uh, JP. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta stay He Man, though. Executive decision. You're fired. Second person's fired. Stavros, stay go for He Man for me. Dude, you're gonna be fucking. You're gonna lose your SAG brutal. eligibility. This guy's Eric Stoltz in Back to the Future. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. New He Man number two. Hey, 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 watch it. You can't curse here. This is the cartoons. Where's your head? The fuck I won't fucking curse. Tell me where I am, goddammit. Jesus. Your PG-13. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Shooter has not sw- has sworn once until here. <laughs> He's letting it loose in the animated world. That's, That's a true. good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Why would he point. suddenly start cursing right now for no reason? Uh, okay, okay, cut it out. Seriously, you're going to get me in trouble. I'll explain it to you. Fucking A. We have heard your cry of distress. The powers of Grayskull took pity on you, and you have been granted special powers. I am here to give them to you. (laughs) By the honor and power of Grayskull, I have the power! Okay, lightning bolts come in, they go through, they go through, fucking shooter, boom. You have been granted awesome strength, unlimited knowledge, and amazing speed. Use your powers wisely. Oh, shit! (laughs) All right, that's it. I warned you. Now you lose your awesome strength. What the fuck? (laughs) Now you lost your unlimited knowledge. You done with the potty mouth? Sorry, I've learned my lesson. Just one question. What's with those skimpy shorts and no shirt? Don't tempt me, boy. (laughs) That's racist. Which racist dialogue? (laughs) All right, all right. I'm sorry. Wait, was he going to fuck yeah, shit? That, that, that reads like I'm horny as shit for you right now. Don't tell me with that little boy pussy. <laughs> he been hasn't gotten fresh meat and gray skull for years. <laughs> there might have been a reason I was a virgin until I was 23. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm sorry. Auntie M, Auntie M, Toto. <laughs> oh, because I got lifted in a tornado. Idiot. Okay, so now Shooter's back in his uh, dorm room, uh, and he's, okay, he's holding the phone to his ear, and it's ringing. Hello? Hey, I'm in Miller's class. Did you hand in your paper early or something? Shit! Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. None of these matter. Go for it. 
Sounds of there are movement. sounds of movement and something crashing on the phone. <laughs> Probably a shellfish tower. <laughs> That's a long class for Dan. <laughs> you only got <laughs> you only got seven minutes. You're never going to make it over here in time. The paper is twenty percent of our grade. Maybe he'll stay late. I got to go. Bye. Uh, he never stays late. Okay, now at this point, uh, we got a close-up of Shooter's hand. It holds a report. It's moving back and forth. Close-up of Shooter's face. He's bobbing up and down. Uh, yeah, I got a musical cue if you don't On know. On E-Man? Oh, this is, yeah. This is a different scene. Uh, uh, I have a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Again, licensing fees are going to be through the roof. <laughs> But that's where you guys step in. Just all music from other movies. It's just, yeah, from Chariots of Fire. Clearly not allowed to repurpose this song. Uh, anyway, then he makes no it. No way, down. I think you'll be able to sign on Ennio Morricone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, he runs into the room. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's only got his underwear on, too, just so you know. And shoes. Yeah, and shoes. Uh, crashes through the door, bursts in with his, pans over, hand, his papers over his hand. Sorry. Shooter runs through the open door to the back of the classroom towards Professor Miller, who is sitting in a chair next to his desk. Professor Miller. Uh, Anyway, he hands it to him. (laughs) Really? I thought you stayed late for me. (laughs) He walks to the door. As he gets there, another student is running in with the paper. (laughs) Thanks, Abby. (laughs) Good movement out there. <laughs> Doesn't mean. <laughs> what a dick teacher. What a dick. Because I wanted to see you naked. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> what was Marilyn like Man. in the late nineties? What a controversial teacher. You know, if you showed up naked, I might have let you turn the paper in. It's ten oh one, but nice cock. Hand it in. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end. The, the point of this part is just to show that it, he really wasn't going to accept it if it was late. And, I made it there uh, in under six minutes. Yeah, he made it there pretty fast. What an Jefferson easy way to show speed, Ari. It's, yeah, it's, it's very eight gentle. pages. <laughs> over two and a half pages to show he's faster. Oh, no, it's not <laughs> over yet, though, because he's walking along, and those Frisbee throwers are at it again. <laughs> One of them throws a Frisbee, and then the last second, shooter reaches his hand up, cat, boom, catches it. Let's do that again in slow motion. <laughs> Got it. Whoa. Shooter puts a frisbee in his other hand and makes the same catching motion a few times, staring at his hand. That's twice you've tried to hit me with this thing. The frisbee store starts to walk over at Shooter, and Shooter drops the frisbee on the ground and steps on it, and then walks away. Wait, he steps on it into dog shit. Don't leave that out. Yeah, I, I what, get to that. Dude? It's, not, it's a surprise. Oh, sorry. I jumped, I jumped the gun on that. I was excited. Okay, it does hurt because he stepped it into dog shit. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I ruined that. I ruined that, Ari. I blew it. Uh, okay, so all the frisbee throwers run after Shooter, the tough frisbee scoring squad. <laughs> you know, the game. In case you were wondering, every camera angle and uh, shot and scene are all in the actual script. So we'll just keep pushing forward. Okay, guys, skip with me uh, because now it's just Dan testing Shooter. He's running a 40. Uh, they're... Well, Ari, you're that. leaving out a great role because he walks, literally walks 40 yards on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, he yeah. does say that. He says he walks 40 yards out measuring what 40 yards is. could just start him at 40 is. yards. Which for Dan is a huge achievement. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we it's don't know point. that. I like my you favorite... The sign that said cupcakes. <laughs> 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 my favorite, one of my favorite things, it goes, Shooter and Dan are walking side by side down the track. Shooter is wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt and then nothing about what I'm wearing. <laughs> Well, you're wearing your moo moo. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're in Dan a bed is sheet. wearing a barrel. Dan's wearing a pool cover. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave, what's JB doing during all this? Um, okay, so now back to tryouts. There's a fucking tryouts are right. over. By but, the way, what? Oh, wait, go ahead. I think I'm jumping. I, I feel like this is the act break. This is the end of Act One. I didn't know what act structure was, really. Yeah. What? Yes. No. Yeah. I don't believe that. This script. If this, this basically was TV, we'd be a page away from canceled, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shooter knows he's fast. I would love to see yeah. the A's of this class. If this is the A minus, I'd love to see what was better than this piece of shit. Dude, it was a state school. I had a teacher once say, "Guys, these papers were terrible. You need to start spell checking." <laughs> I 
Uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to get an A. I'm going to really get, easily get an A no matter what I do. It's funny how you still, like, how many years ago was that? Uh, 20, 21 years you ago. You actually think he read the whole thing. That is so funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good point. He read That's... the first five and the last ten. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> you make a but great in, point. In case anyone's wondering what the 40 time was, uh, Shooter's old 40 time, 6.3, which is... <laughs> yeah. Real bad. I, I literally, me right now, like a year ago, ran like a 5.7. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's hospital bed's faster than that. <laughs> yeah. But with He-Man's powers... He runs a 4 2 40. That ain't nothing. Oh, that's shit. That's fucking first round combine score right there. Jeez. Yeah, why did he just switch over to the football? Yeah, it's a corner. He what probably should have. jump shot's too good. Why would you waste it? He probably should learn other things. Uh, okay. And guess what he says after he gets the 4.2? What? Does he? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Angawa. <laughs> Shooter's got the power. <laughs> Good catch. Thank Good you. Catch yeah, we can't skip over that. I smell T-shirts coming out on the next Ari Shapiro <laughs> tour. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Ari, for future screenplays, Act One doesn't need to be on page fifty-seven. The break. <laughs> Usually <laughs> twenty to twenty-five. I was so proud of this. A little meat on this. Good trick is no page numbers though. Who knows uh, where we are? Oh yeah, there's no page numbers on here at all. Uh, when you say go to page whatever, they're like I don't know. They're like we just been backstage highlighting, and we're like, oh, where does this line come in? We're like somewhere around like the second, third. <laughs> did, did your teacher at all go, hey, uh, note for the future, just put some page numbers in there? Okay, I actually believe Word Perfect had a, f- a function where you could put like like a dimmed out page number, and then it didn't transfer. Turns out it wasn't so perfect, Ari. <laughs> Suck on that, whoever invented Word Perfect. Exactly. Fuck that loser. <laughs> I really like bought in. Fuck Word. Word Perfect is going to take over. <laughs> that and Betamax. All right. Uh, so now Shooter goes back to, to, to uh, practice. There's a, just an open practice. Uh, Shooter goes in. Coach Lewis? You, you page. might be a page or two behind. Oh, I would tell you there which you page go. number, but it's uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. It's, it's this much in. <laughs> Coach Lewis? Uh, I look up from my clipboard. What can I do for you, shooter? I mean, I'm kind of busy here. Yeah, well, it's about that. I'd like another chance to make the team. I'm sorry, shooter, but tryouts were last week. If you didn't make it through the... I know about all that, but things have changed. <laughs> That's a good interruption there. Look, son, this isn't the time to talk about this. You're just way too slow to play on this level. <laughs> <laughs> Look, kid, you got a nice shot, but it takes more than that here. Now, this has been <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> My guy has gone off campus. <laughs> <laughs> off campus. And he is totally in a ketamine binge right now, like <laughs> three days into a five day, like <laughs> super paranoid. <laughs> hey, hey sh- shooter? Shooter? <laughs> What's the matter, man? Once, once wasn't enough, so you thought you should come back and. Get cut again? Do you hear sirens? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughs, but Coach Lewis turns around and they all stop. Look, Coach, I'm just asking for one more chance. I'm telling you, I'm a lot faster than I was during tryouts. I had a sprained ankle or something. <laughs> or just something. give me one chance. <laughs> Shooter looks at the players and sees it. He had been helping with their shots. Black. Who's the black? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who are all the black people? Uh, the coach turns towards the players. Same black person? That sounds like a black Fucking guy. great. You do not lose your role. That guy is... The team all shouted in agreement. <laughs> all right. Five minutes. Uh, so the coach has a shooter do some drills. He fucking... Uh, JP guards him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is that point in the drug binge where you're like just so sleepy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And you think you're like louder than you really are. (laughs) I don't care how fast you are. (laughs) Nobody beats me. It's time to uh... (laughs) cut your 
fucking fucking great choices, man. Great acting choices. James Lipton said the same thing. <laughs> uh, shooter just dribbles right by him, everybody. Um, uh, he does drills. Um, it's that four two forty speed. Yeah, coach yeah. huddles with the assistant coach for a few moments, and he comes over, walks to the players. In- cut to interior bar night. Oh, and then we have a voiceover from Coach Lewis. But there, the three guys are doing uh, tequila slammers. Dan but- made it out to a bar. They cut the wall out. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> All right, right, now it's me. <laughs> Here's the voiceover. All right, we discussed it, and we decided that Shooter could have a trial run on the team. If all goes well for two weeks, he can become a regular player. Totally not what a coach would do. He would just put him on the team or not put him on the team. I take it back, this Ari. Is, this is the act break. This is not a writing job for South Park. Oh, really? Right here? This is the act break. Yeah, yeah. Was he given like an irregular scarlet letter mark on his sleeve to know that he wasn't quite on the team yet? Yeah, Red they shirt. burned flesh. They no, branded is, me. Is this a different John than I was playing before? It's just <laughs> no, John, same John. John Pelosi. When does my character evolve? Uh, don't worry. Don't is worry. It it's coming? coming. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Dude, this is a setup movie for you. <laughs> this should make every kid in America want to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your question was, is this a different John from before because it says John Poland? No. Uh, John Poland would become JP. He's somebody from my high school class. So wait, um, so, so this is a flashback and... <laughs> it's the same kind of retarded John that you're playing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. But you guys, come on, guys. You're not supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, th- we can skip over these. <laughs> wow. Guys, skip with me a little bit as the font changes completely to Times New Roman. Yeah. I'm worried that this is a completely different script. <laughs> yeah. No uh, way, they, man. They all get drunk, and, uh, and that, that w- there they are. Okay, second date with, uh, with Shooter and Jenny. They're at a bingo tournament for some reason. <laughs> Interior bingo parlor night. By the way, what inspired that bingo? This I think bingo I went there scene. once on a date with, with, my, with my, yeah, my college you, girlfriend. And you didn't fuck, huh? That's real? You really That's did? Crazy. Yeah, I believe I did. It's pretty fun. It's actually a good date night, you guys. Where did you find it? Uh, a woman who was willing to go out with me? It, well, that, but <laughs> the bingo, more surprisingly, She the worked bingo at the night. bingo place. Yeah, the woman. V-F-W. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Maryland was a fucking party school, huh? <laughs> Go to bingo. Uh, okay, just so you know, they got drunk off their minds the night before. So interior bingo parlor uh, night. We skipped a page or two. You guys get that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you get it? <laughs> yeah. You? Jenny shakes her head. How close are you? This like orgasm stuff? Right. Okay. This is the old people now. This is your chance to shine right now. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I guess sh- sh- is a tough one to yell with, but okay. <laughs> That's good. Very nice. Shetty nice. mouths the word sorry and shrugs at Shooter. Shooter takes his head and frowns at her and turns back to her. Cheers. Jenny smiles and punches him in the arm. He laughs and turns back. Two-dimensional. <laughs> is this really how you celebrate when good things happen to you? Do you know any good things that happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! Have what you about you? Asked about there's, my life at all? <laughs> there's, a produc- there's a production meeting at Shooter where they go. Michelle's becoming difficult with the role. <laughs> She's asking for stuff about her. Who cares? <laughs> we don't have the time. This is a 900-page script. <laughs> sure. What else am I going to do? Get so drunk off my mind, I wake up on the street not knowing who I am or how I got there. <laughs> It's what happened. It's what we skipped. (laughs) Go for it. Wow, that's so cool that she won. (laughs) (laughs) This is why there's no quality roles for women in Hollywood, because they hire Jews to write these scripts. (sighs) It doesn't work that way here, Jenny. What do you mean? Explain it to me. <laughs> Shooter nods yeah. towards the two old women seated across from them. I can't believe she won again. Sounds just like an old lady would say <laughs> that. She wins every week. I think she's screwing them all, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, all right. Listen, uh, they go back and forth and they fight a bunch. The old people start fighting. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Full on fist fight for like seventy year olds. <laughs> By the way, well choreographed in the script. The fight's very well choreographed. Yeah, let's go back to uh anyway, they leave. Let's go back to the gymnasium. 
Oh, wow. Jumping ahead. Yeah. Nice. All right. Oh, that's you. Close-up angle of the basket. (laughs) Nice. All right. Practice starts soon. Help me with this. Oh, this takes a turn right now for JP, David Tell. Oh, Uh, what? Your your character starts to take a real turn. I was waiting for the rest of the call of the bingo numbers. (laughs) We're going to do a full game of bingo in the movie. (laughs) The pro- the pro- the pro- the pro- Don't worry, the bingo comes back, so you'll get it later. <laughs> All right, so what? My turn. No. Uh, where the where uh, the he- where the fuck have you been? You were supposed to be here twenty five minutes ago. Okay, now this is my. Um, <laughs> anybody ever been in Sacramento in the nineties? Okay. <laughs> I'm hella sorry, bruh. <laughs> I got stuck in wicked traffic. <laughs> Mahuga Hage. Something. I don't, I don't know what they would say. <laughs> God damn it. You see, this is what I'm talking about, people. It's your lack of commitment. It's this kind of crap that keeps us from getting to the next fucking level. Okay, guys, turn pages with me here. Uh... Until you change your goddamn attitudes, we're never going to get any better. Okay, we're changing one page. Shooter talks about how Coach came in late. JP uh, came in 30 minutes late today. Yeah, we're going to skip another page. It's just him. Wait, don't fucking. skip over Dan also yeah. has a smelling issue with yeah, Shooter. Dan, yeah, does have the Dan smelling is issue now there. becoming a cannibal uh, <laughs> because he smells uh, Shooter's arm and... It wants to eat it. God, he wants to eat it. <laughs> uh, is that what you meant by evolution of my character? No, 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 no. no, no. M. What if I told you Dan was becoming up. smarter? Dan gets bored with eating animals <laughs> and begins to eat people. What happens if Dan learns to open doors? <laughs> <laughs> Dan tries to walk. I go, the, the Did you watch explore. Jurassic Park right before you wrote this? <laughs> Uh, pretty much all that happens here is Coach Lewis throws JP out of practice. Uh, JP, I didn't even give you a single line. Just react the whole fucking time. So it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah. I mean, you cut you out. Yell, uh, this is your chance R- to Rumel. fucking emote. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Shit! You guys suck. You guys are girls. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Shooter and Jenny again. Yeah. Shooter's dorm room afternoon. He's just something good happened, but there is, you'd think there would be an Ungawa chant. There's not. Not this time. <laughs> Jenny, I'm taking you out tonight. Where do you want to go? I'm sorry, Shooter. I've got plans. Someone I know is going through a hard time. Don't ask me. <laughs> 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 no, I understand. I'll just stay here and slip my wrists or play with my Barbies or something. I'll have plenty of fun without you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, Wait, I really want to... Oh, you already hung up? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, anyway, he actually does take out a box of Ken dolls and Barbies and starts playing with them. Is this based on truth? Because the the manorexia is and the wetting the bed is. I did like to play with dolls, but never Ken and and Barbie. Just whatever I found. Also, Ari, Shooter frowns after he hangs up the phone. (laughs) He does frown after he hangs up the phone. I read the note. Then he shrugs his shoulders. (laughs) Um, okay. Oh, want- this is fucking big. Okay, right now. They're going to dinner. Exterior, Jenny's dorm room, night. Shooter is holding a bouquet of flowers. He is standing by the double doors to Jenny's building, looking at the street and his watch. Alternately, someone comes out of the building and walks past Shooter. He does not move as his door starts to swing closed. And now. At the last possible second, Shooter jabs at the door with his free hand, barely squeezing it inside before the door closes. Again, <laughs> he is faster. <laughs> That's so, also a rape tactic that he's happy he got in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Shooter. Uh, as Shooter opens the door, another man walks by the other door and just opens it. It wasn't. It was never going to lock. So it was all pointless. Well, I'm faster than you. Okay. Shooter uh, walks down the hallway in a full strut. Sorry. Uh... Am I black enough? <laughs> <laughs> He's carrying a boombox? Something that sounds like Jungle Boogie by Cool in the Gang. Oh, I should have just gotten that. Uh, he gets up to the door, puts a flower. Are you worried about getting the licensing rights to it? Uh, on page 88, he was worried about that. You're like, he man, I have no problem getting those rights. He goes, we'll clear that. But I'm not going to get Cool in the Gang. That'll be light legal work for my team. Uh, I actually remember this. My teacher said, don't put any specific kind of music in there because. What about the three the other music cues that were in there? It's a good question. <laughs> Should have been we a B call minus. the teacher at the end of this script? Let's hope he's dead by suicide. If you're giving an A minus. An A minus for this? 
I think so. I got to look back. I believe A minus. Anyway, uh, he goes, it's the wrong room. Uh, He thinks someone's cheating on him, but it's the wrong room. Skip one more with me. Then he finds Jenny's room. Uh, Sees her there on her bed hugging someone else. Hugging, by the way. It's clear it's hugging in the script. (laughs) And he, he just opens the door. Like, he just, he opens the door. He doesn't knock or anything. It By the way, open the door. Written, Who is she hugging? JP. Yes. Oh. oh. Yes. Oh, man. It's that ketamine every yeah. time. You guys were like, where is this going? And now you know. This is awesome. Sorry, JP asks me questions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who does Dan hug? What, what does do you Dan think? hug anybody? What are you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, oh, good. <laughs> I'm mortified you ordered tongue. Uh, okay, so now Shooter goes into depression. He's in his bed, staring straight ahead. No expression on his face. Uh, the phone rings, but he makes no motion at all to get it. He just sits there. Uh, this, is, this gets real weird. His hand In his hand is a Barbie doll with no head and ketchup all over the neck and dress. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dan's going to be real bad yeah, when of he course. finds out you yeah. used his ketchup. <laughs> did, did Shooter get into uh, uh, JP's ketamine supply? He's <laughs> losing it. Dan's knocking at Shooter's door, but there's no answer. Uh, he just goes in, though. No, he's eventually. ramming his wheelchair into the door yeah. to knock. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> yeah, his rascal busts in. Got new batteries. <laughs> Dan drops from his shoulder and falls. Uh, <laughs> this oh. is w- what Shooter's listening to when Dan comes in the room. Yeah. It's in the script. He's yeah. listening to the yeah. shower scene music from Psycho. <laughs> Everywhere you see there are Barbie dolls with limbs missing. They hang from the ceiling. They're all over the floor. It's like the end of season one of True Detective. Yeah. Basically, Shooter's the Yellow King. Yeah. Dan thinks yellow means mustard, so he comes in. <laughs> I think butter. Butter. Dan, is Dan goes. Dan goes. Oh boy. That's uh, my he line. He looks around and shakes his head. Uh, I did my line. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, they go to the driving range for some reason. Come on, let's uh, go. We're at the range. That's gonna be his way. Just follow along with me, guys. That's gonna be his way. He blows off steam. Uh, I do want to let the audience know that I, uh, I stopped myself from reading the last 15 pages. Wow. So this could be a surprise for you. Total well, surprise. We're still like 50 <laughs> yeah. away from the last Yeah, we got 15. a while to go. go we're, we're not even near half, I think, <laughs> no. to be quite honest. Look at the audience. Is like, uh, huh. Okay, skip with me. So uh, sh- anyway, he makes him imagine Jenny as a golf ball. Uh, Dan does? <laughs> Uh, shooter. Dan makes Shooter imagine him as a golf ball. Sh- shooter has some very, uh, well, if but there Dan, were universal background friend. checks, he would not get a gun. Yeah. So <laughs> the golf ball becomes Jenny, and then she starts going like, you know, and so, oh, this was not written ahead of time. Golf Jenny in a high pitched, squeaky voice. However, will we get that? <laughs> 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 Wait, do you want me to do Golf Jenny or you want Dan to do Golf Jenny? No, you do Golf okay. Jenny. Yeah, sure, Try focusing on the ball. Dude, that's awesome. There's so many dogs in Brooklyn right now barking. <laughs> Shooter's... <laughs> Stop it. Shooter's staring down at Maze. Suddenly his expression turns into one of anger. The shot goes back to a close-up of Golf Jenny. Why don't you? The head of Shooter's golf club whips through the shot and hits Golf Jenny away. Just... Straight to domestic violence before they even had sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, they continue to argue a little bit. Skip with me here. <laughs> um, this is confusing. Yeah, he just starts hitting them more and more. He blows off steam pretty much with yeah. this golf. Golf is his way of blowing off steam. Okay, anyway. Oh, interior gymnasium night. Actual game, you guys. He's in a full-on game, 60 pages into this fucking script. The stands are full and noisy. Everyone's cheering as the game is being played on the court. Yeah, right. Okay. I I assume Coach Lewis uh, looks up from his clipboard? Yeah. Okay. Jenny's in the stands. He's not talking to her, but she's there. Coach Lewis, look up from your clipboard. And looks up from his clipboard. Shooter, go in for Terrence. Fuck yeah. Big moment, Shooter. You're going to go into a fucking NCAA Division I game. Come on, Shooter. (laughs) Uh, anyway, what happens? Sh- uh, he fucking hits shot after shot. The ball's past the other side. He's fucking making steals. 
It goes to the re- the it's refs. Fucking dealing the way Shooter does. It goes in, and the refs signal uh, three points. The next play down. The By the way, we've never got the height of Shooter or what position he's playing. <laughs> Is he a swing <laughs> three? Is he a pure one? I don't know. <laughs> Tell you this, fucking lights out from the arch. Why would you include that when you could put John's uh, height and weight in there? <laughs> the guy we've heard from twice. <laughs> the most described character By the in way, whole fucking doesn't, thing. doesn't step on the court. We got his whole fucking tail of the tape. He's a Virgo, too, by the but, way, John, if you're the, wondering. Ari, I think this might be the midpoint. This might be the midpoint. He's I, playing well right now. Might the key word. I don't, think, I don't think there's a midpoint. He's still got to make up a Jenny, but um, he's playing. Okay, interior shooter's dorm room morning. Um, there's a knock on the door. Shooter rolls over in his bed. The knock comes again. And shooter reaches up and grabs his alarm clock and pushes a button. The knock comes one more time. He doesn't know what it is, everybody. And Shooter opens his eyes and looks around. Dan comes in with a newspaper in his hand. Don't you know how to knock? Sorry. <laughs> Check out the sports. He's got a newspaper. Shooter looks at Dan, flips through the newspaper, pulling out the sports section. The headline reads, Tigers shoot down eagles. What a terrible headline. <laughs> I liked it. As my first piece of press as Shooter, I love it. Adams, Shooter Adams has 19 in upset. There's a picture of shooting Shooter taking a shot over a defender. I can't believe this. Believe it. They're saying this is our biggest win of the year. Wow. <laughs> shooter looks back down at the paper. There's a big bite out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Jenny at breakfast because, of course. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're at breakfast. I was eating an entire gingerbread house. I mean, yeah. <laughs> she asked me what happened to you after the game. What'd you what? tell her? I bit her. <laughs> what? What's Dan's I, meal plan? I, <laughs> I said I didn't know. I'm not getting involved with you guys. Anyway, get dressed. Was we it? got to Uva's class. Is we, that how you pronounce du- it's, it's Duva. It was another we, guy from just my post-high school friend. We got group. Duva's. Why, it's D and then, okay. We got Duva's class. Was that at breakfast one or breakfast two that you saw? Her? <laughs> I was at brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's a bruncher. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, right here, the, a female student says nice game. A male student says great game. Just pointless extras. It's, it's pretty open. Rolls. Shooter's cool with a lot of shit. Uh, interior classroom morning. Another professor, not the first professor, again, for no reason, but this is a different professor, <laughs> speaks up. <laughs> Guys, deal with it. This is what college sports are. That's, all a, right? that's a good line. It's yeah. the first good line. In the- <laughs> First funny line in the script. <laughs> it says Brooklyn accent. That's why. Yeah. She, she, she's she's nailing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Says Brooklyn she broke accent. the shit out of that role, in my yeah. opinion. She's doing. Yeah. yeah. She fucking crushed that, dude. Yeah. Right. Lights out. Lights out. Princess Duva. Professor Duva. Is that Ari's mother, by the way, this woman? <laughs> <laughs> Ari, it's your mother here. It's my your F-bomb. script is beautiful. Don't listen to these people. <laughs> yeah. Ari, were you homeschooled? Did your mom grade this? <laughs> I'm proud of you, boy chick. By the way, if, if you thought the women were one note, the Italians clearly <laughs> just have nothing to do but gamble. <laughs> I got three lines and a clipboard. How about that? You're becoming a local celebrity, Shooter. Yeah. The answer is 19. The answer is Shooter motherfucking Adams. Okay, skip with me a little. Uh, oh, no, no, we're going to read that because it's, it's a good Michelle Wolf line who's going to win an Academy Award in the next five years, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm not here right now, but leave a message. Boop. Hi, I'm not here right now, but leave a message and I'll call you back. There's a beep. Is Boop. The- Hold on a second. Hi, Shooter. Um, even this- though your answering machine's like pretty annoying... <laughs> Uh, I was just wondering where you went after the game yesterday. I couldn't find you. You were amazing. 
Can you guys fuck already? I'm so proud of you. Give me a call when you get this, and we'll go out and celebrate, and maybe you can find out what I'm majoring in. Perfect. Is she enrolled in the college? She may not be. I don't even know know nothing, nothing about this woman. She could be 50 years old and a lunch lady. Who knows? Is she an RA? Is she just like that? Uh, there's a sound of a click and the phone hanging up. Shooter stands there for a moment and then walks away. Okay. More bingo. More bingo. Oh, come on. No, we're not going to. The crowd oh, wants give, it. Give the old ladies their lines. All right. Old ladies, just start, start it up. Ooh, she's, she's not that know. cute. Uh, he doesn't take the bait, you guys, just so you know. He doesn't fuck anybody. Nah, uh, Shooter doesn't bust any hips that night. So he just goes to bingo to clear... He just goes to clear his head alone? Yeah, bingo. he's just going alone. <laughs> yeah. Same date night place. That's a good point, stuff. Uh, he's not taking a walk. He's going back to the original place. <laughs> yeah. He has it's a, quick bingo a round. lot of qualities of a school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> goes to bingo by himself. That's All his friends are 75 years old. He watches old girls obese. with binoculars. <laughs> Dude. And he when does get... not care what they major in. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Cafeteria. Okay, Jenny Lotz walks in to the cafeteria. Shooter looks up. Oh, who's she, there? She oh. waves at JP. Oh, fuck. What a fucking <sighs> bitch. And he waves back. Shooter scowls. Jenny goes inside to get her food. You guys are still broken up. By the way, you... they went on one date. Right? Yeah. They went on two two dates. Two dates dinner. We made out. Yeah. By the way, me in college would have been just as hurt <laughs> and was just as hurt over women who I had hooked up with once, like a month before, and was getting the courage to ask them out again. By hooked up, you mean you went to the bingo parlor? Yes. I think it was a kiss in the car, and then like a month later, like, fucking, I wasn't done with that. <laughs> I was working up the courage to ask her on a second date. It's only been a month. You guys are still broken up? You know what she did? Would you take her back? I have a question then. If you guys aren't going to get back together, well, <laughs> ha. Evolution. Listen, fuckers, it's coming. Evolution. Here we it's go. It's fucking coming. Dan's lost some weight. He doesn't need to. He's just discovered himself. That's true. That's true. Good point. Okay? He has a good personality. He doesn't need to. It's not a the great, physiology. A great That's personality. Right. Thank you. That's right. That's what Twitter would say. Uh... <laughs> I have a question then. If you guys aren't going to get back together, well, how about if I go for her? Shut up. No. I mean, she didn't cheat on me. I thought I'd give her a ride on the Dan Express. Yeah. (laughs) Which is this scooter the government has provided for me. (laughs) Destination ecstasy. She would have cheated on you, too. I would have kept her more satisfied than you ever could. Wow. <laughs> it's very, very Omaha impressive. Steaks, motherfucker. <laughs> Shooter shakes his head and smiles. Oh, there she is. Wish me luck. Dan starts to get up, but Shooter punches him in the leg, and he sits back down again. Dan laughs. Ah, ha, ha. All, you... r- <laughs> All right, you slut. We got to go. <laughs> By the way, and now, Shooter, and Shooter. now, so quick, back to Piglet. <laughs> yeah. You go... I'm finishing my lunch. (laughs) You earned it. Sad. Okay, now this part gets... Michelle, if you didn't like what was happening before, this is where it gets extra creepy. Yeah. Shooter nods and picks up his tray and leaves. Dan sits alone eating his lunch. (laughs) He suddenly half drops, half throws his fork off the table. He spins out of his chair to pick it up, and a a random woman in a miniskirt walks into him. Oh, sorry. As as he falls Uh. back... He touches one of her legs for a second. <laughs> oh, and leaves Ooh. a grease streak on her thigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't use the turkey leg hand. You use the other hand to touch the leg. <laughs> That's not my lady grabbing hand. Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry. You all right? She nods and walks away, and Dan picks up the fork. He sits back at the table and laughs quietly as he watches the woman in the miniskirt walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is the big turning point. You're now a rapist. Yeah. Where would that have entered my brain? Uh, Jenny walks up right then. Dan? 
Dan Jump is surprised by Jenny, who has appeared from the other direction. Ooh. Jenny surprised Dan Jump. Yeah. <laughs> Dan is, too. He tore his ACL. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Jenny sits down and brings out a cupcake from behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> she waves it back and forth and Dan follows it with his head <laughs> swaying back and forth Dan <laughs> takes the cupcake Jenny hands him the cupcake and Dan takes it with two hands panting like a dog <laughs> even letting his tongue hang out <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fatty, I need to talk to you about Shooter. Dan puts a cupcake down in his tray and looks at Jenny. From what I hear, there's not really that much to talk about. Come on, Dan, tell me what happened. (laughs) (laughs) Every time I try to talk to him, he runs away. I already told you, I'm not, I'm eating now. I'm not getting involved. Whatever you guys do is between you guys. Jenny sighs and looks around and then back at Dan. If you tell me what happened, I'll fix you up with that girl you just copped a feel off. I didn't. She's in my, co- oh. she's in, she's in my sorority, which she, you would know if you asked me. Wait, she's in a sorority? What did that happen? Detail what about other Jen? extracurricular activities does she have? When did she pledge? She orders tongue, and she is in a sorority. We now know two things about her. Well-rounded. The woman yeah. at Talbot Hall. I didn't cop a feel off anybody. I bumped into her by accident. Uh, he looks. To Can you left. really hook me up? There we go. <laughs> She had some linguine hanging from her thigh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was veal. <laughs> I'll get you an actual date, and she's really easy. <laughs> what an enabler. All you have to do is grease her then, up. <laughs> she's, you're a real uh, slut snitch. <laughs> if, <laughs> unless you want to settle on that for the rest of your life. Okay, it's a deal. But you have to throw in one more thing. What? Fries. No. (laughs) (laughs) I noticed that nobody's in the bathroom. Okay, stop right here. This 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 is is so far against Dan's character, I don't know how this made it into the fucking script. First of all, I think Dan's layered. Very layered. Yeah, and I think he can do... Like a a, blooming uh, onion. Like a cake. (laughs) It's like a club sandwich. I noticed that nobody's in the bathroom. So how about you and me install number... Three. Wait, how did he notice no one was in the bathroom? He had it staked out? It's <laughs> a good Walkie question. Walkie-talkie system? His hidden camera. The guy who eats that much likes to know his escape route for dumps. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny leans in close. All right, but there's too many people here now. If you really want to do it, meet me. Never! She's got morals. Slam. By the Damn. way, can I just Wish. say that is good writing. The disappointment on this woman's face over here. I literally heard her go. <gasps> but she thought, she thought, she thought Dan finally had his moment. The fuck. That and would be incredible. She just sucks his dick in the bathroom, and the story keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just don't address it. I was right. Open. That's fair. I can repackage it as kids too. She's just licking Dan's asshole yeah. as he pours Shooter non-dairy creamer over himself. <laughs> The Dan, end. Dan's <laughs> eating a sandwich while having his ass. And lit. then yeah. JP just starts fucking Dan in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, I say, uh, good enough. What do you want to do now? Okay, now we go to. No, wait, wait, wait. You didn't address that Jenny says. Oh, but the original offer still stands. Good All enough. Right. <laughs> good enough. What do you want to know? So he tells her. They go to Shooter's room. Uh, he's lying in his bed, throwing a ball up in the air and catching it. The phone rings and he picks it up. Hello? Shooter, it's Jenny. I know you're mad at me, but please just hear me out. Jenny, I can't really talk now. I've got an appointment with my professor and I'm running out the door. Would you please just listen to me for one second? Listen. Without anything? <laughs> <laughs> listen, I would, but I gotta go now or I'm gonna be late. Sorry, I'll see you later. I'm really fast. He hangs up the phone, <laughs> lies back in his bed. He's not going anywhere. He's just throwing the ball up again. There's no reason Jenny would work this hard. Oh, well, there you go. There's your line. This is getting stupid. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just hang in there, Jenny. <laughs> He'll come around. Oh, my God. Okay. This is like that scene in What's Love Got to Do With It where Tina Turner decides to walk away. <laughs> anyway, uh-huh. she's had enough, and she actually comes in to confront him. Next page. Uh, he turns and opens the door. Jenny walks in before he can do anything. All right, listen. I know why you've been such a jerk, and I can understand. Now's not the best time. I've got to... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> where was that golf, Jenny? <laughs> Now be quiet for a second. I talked to Dan, and he told me what you saw. 
Now, I don't know what it looked like to you, but I did not cheat on you. Nothing happened between JP and me. I saw you guys hugging on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her finger... <laughs> By the way, doesn't question at all why he just walked into yeah. her room without knocking, how he got in the building. <laughs> Shooter's got master keys. His dad's a janitor. Very sneaky. Uh, anyway, she walked into the hallway and says something. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> JP, you're making your ver- ver- triumphant return. I, I, what's going on in JP's world at this point? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> well, this is the late 90s. As we all know, there was a lot of cyborg action going on. <laughs> 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 I read a few pages ahead. It doesn't, I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I guess I'll... <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> There's a sound of scuffling coming from the hallway. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Tell him. I don't have anything. Jenny grabs a hold of his ear and twists, bringing him back to a stoop position. Ow. <laughs> All right. She is my cousin. <laughs> I went over there to talk after I got benched. She's my cousin. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> what a twist. What, who saw that coming? I didn't. Cousin fucking cyborg. Is that what you were up to? <laughs> wow. And they, wait, are they also cousins with John Cutler? <laughs> uh, did it change yet? No, it did not yet. It, oh, wait, Jenny lets go of JP's ear and looks at Shooter. Shooter looks back and forth from JP to Jenny. Cheers. Then he takes Jenny's hand and gets down on his knees. Aww. I'm so sorry. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That's good. Sorry that you thought I was committing some sort of form of incest? <laughs> Ew. No. Sorry for, well, yeah, for that and for everything. Jenny smiles and they stare at each other for a moment, then hug. They stand there holding each other and then it moves into a kiss. Mm, can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they just keep Work kissing. that ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, okay, now they're on a date. Pancake house. Pancake house. Oh. Oh, he's, he's gotten some money since the bingo parlor. Yeah, he's moved up. Bingo scratch. parlor is a cheap date, you guys. You Brooklyn people. It's really fucking cheap. <laughs> Can you wave to me at your next game? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Like, should I wear something skimpy to get your attention? (laughs) You've already got my attention, baby. But you can wear something skimpy whenever you want. You ready to go? Really a shock you were a virgin through college, (laughs) Ari. With this dialogue, I can't believe it. By the way, Pancake House, don't order too much. Otherwise, he's going to expect stuff after this. (laughs) Hold on a sec. Let me just powder my nose. Is he going to go do yak? He's just going to the bathroom. It's just an excuse. Oh, I thought Shooter it. partied. I thought this turned into the Len Bias story. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon for Ari. That was actually supposed to be Jenny's line, right? Powder what? my nose? No. Hold on a no? second. It says Shooter, but it... No, because he goes to the bathroom. It's just a, it's a colloquial way of saying I'm going to the bathroom. Oh. What a uh, witty motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's just a little dick joke in there, and then... Um, it's shit like this that got you an A-. minus. Well, they flirt a little more... Jenny keeps hold of us. Oh, and then they fuck. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I guess we'll read that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Put it up. Put it up. Okay, let's just have... Let's no, just let they the don't. feel that. Go ahead. Uh, they're about to separate outside her dorm room, and then, wow, well... Is that why they call him Shooter? <laughs> <laughs> Quick release. Basketball? Yeah. Does he fuck fast as well? Is the speed coming to the Oh, end? yeah. He goes <laughs> quick. Like double gyrations? Where are we going? Well, the University well, okay. of Cafeteria? No, let's, let's actually have the fuck scene. Oh, okay. No, it's not going to show it. It'll just give him his fucking moment. Wow, well, okay, uh, good night, I guess. Jenny takes a hold of his hand and shakes her head smiling. Shooter looks at her and shakes his head back. N- no. No. <laughs> Shooter's mouth hangs open. Jenny keeps a hold of his hand and leads him into her building. All right. Well, Jenny's leading Shooter down the hallway when... Oh, a fire alarm Wait. goes off. That's right. They don't fuck. Is Dan at least watching and jerking <laughs> off? Oh, I forgot what a about blue that. ball. Uh, Shooter. Uh, no! 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 
notes in the script. I think Dan pulled that fire alarm. Revenge. He <laughs> might have. He's like, yeah, talk about my food again, bitch. Dan's like, how'd you do tonight? I raped three chicks already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Daryl and Shooter and Terrence uh, talk at the fucking... Sorry, Terrence. We've got to cut some of these lines. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, but like, there's too many black rolls out today, so we're going to have to cut some of these. Uh, it's pretty much just saying make up with JP. He's a cool guy. Um, what about Shooter and Dan playing video games and John Cutler? John Cutler oh, that again. Diff- that's the different John. Or is that the same John? John, no, same, same John. Same Cutler. That's John. Okay. Uh, Did, wasn't and, the name with a P, John? You Stone? just... It's JC, not JP. Yeah, come on, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm not a pro. Here I go. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> I saw your girlfriend today. <laughs> Winner and still champion and shooter's natural father, Dan the Man Williams. Oh, yeah. His name given on page 97. Very nice. <laughs> Dan Williams? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For no reason. Wait, there is. Skip yeah. another line with me here. Okay. We're, we're in uh, the Coach Lewis uh, in a locker room, nighttime. Coach Lewis is standing and facing the players who are all sitting. <sighs> all right. You all know what you're supposed to be doing out there tonight. This game's big, guys. We need it. If we get this win, we should be looking at an invitation to the NCAA tournament. So let's get out there and leave it all on the court. Hands in. Come on. One, two, three, team. Okay. Team. (laughs) Uh, A lot of exposition about what happens. Uh, All right. We're so far behind because there's like three NCAA games that are still (laughs) ahead of us that we haven't gotten to. All right. Spoiler alert. They make the fucking tourney. (laughs) It's a uh, playing game. Skip with me. They they uh, skip skip pages with me here. They all well, don't uh, skip this. They go action. Sh- How what about Professor again? Duva? I gotta hear Professor Duva again. <laughs> Is he in there? <laughs> I'm with, it's me and Dan. He has he has lines. No, he, yeah. Professor she Duva does. has no lines. He's just in his class. Don't skip. Coach oh Lewis. man. They Listen, w- they all go fucking drinking. Dan fucks that chick with the miniskirt. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Fuck yeah! 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 That's right. Little Debbie. Yeah, only one to fuck in this. Oh, and then JP's coming back one By last the way, time. can I just read you the Dan fuck scene? Yeah, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. It says, interior woman in the skirt's bedroom. <laughs> 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 the lights are off and the covers are covering two bodies apparently having sex. I don't know why this is like a fucking news broadcast we have to use apparently. <laughs> Dan's head pops out from the cover, looks directly at the camera... And nods. <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah. You want your line? <laughs> Wait, what is, the, what is my nods. line? Oh, after I nod, I say, oh, yeah. <laughs> he gets back under the covers. What a rascal. That's right. So now we jump ahead to interior stadium room interior locker. Interior stadium locker room afternoon. Shooter's putting on his shoes when JP walks up to him. This is, by the way, I have nothing to say, but actually, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is it. What do you think of it this day? I'm going to do this one as... Um, <laughs> this is like every person who runs a gift shop at an art museum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, I know we've had a lot of bad blood between us. <laughs> I've done a lot of things I shouldn't have. <laughs> but you seem like a decent guy. At least that's what my sister seems to think so. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Time out. Yeah, time out real cousin. quick right here. Uh, for no reason at all, Jenny and JP are now brother and sister. <laughs> and it never <laughs> came up, cousin, by the way. Like, never came up. A minus. Before. A fucking minus. And Oops. getting bench was my fault. So how about we put that behind us <laughs> and try and win this tournament? JP extends his hands towards Shooter. Shooter <laughs> smiles and nods and shakes JP's hands. I know that was hard for you. It takes a big man to apologize like that after all we've been through. <laughs> Plus, I'm having some pretty good sex with your cousin, so that has what? to kind of be hard, too. <laughs> Back to cousin. Shooter, you dog. <laughs> I'm having some pretty good sex. Some straight virgin shit. I'm... I'm having some... I'm putting my penis in her vagina. (laughs) And it goes between her legs. I feel like all these characters are related. (laughs) They're all pretty much the same person. 
Do we want to skip through the first game? Yeah, the broadcaster comes on. We're in the first game right now. Let's say focus. They win, you guys. Uh, and then they won the next two games. Pretty Whoa. E- and what's the next one? DeVry University? Pretty they easily. <laughs> <laughs> they beat... They beat Turnpike jo- Tech. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, beat the jo- they beat Johnson and Wales, 75 to 50. The Sylvan <laughs> Learning Center. Yeah. They crush them. University of- School of the Arts. Lined up with the dreaded University of Phoenix. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're just playing it online. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so at this point, they've won a couple games. They beat Duke, which is everybody's favorite. And, uh, <laughs> so nice suck a dick, Blue Devils. Shooter's got your number. Okay, so now they're, pretty, they're almost in the Final Four at this point. Um, shooter's warming up with the rest of the team, shooting around. He turns to grab a rebound, goes outside to shoot. As he does, he sees his father and Mrs. Griffith walking oh, towards him. Wow. He that smiles, runs over to meet him. Meet them. Hey, Dad. Hi, Mrs. Griffith. It's you gotta flip ahead if you. I'll read that. I, By the I, way, is is Mr. Adams fucking Mrs. Griffith? Don't worry about that, dude. Uh, I don't think. So. <laughs> Sorry, let's do that again. All right, Mrs. Griffith. Take it from the top of the scene. Let's do you know cut. Let's just run this again. Hey, Dad. Hi, Mrs. Griffith. Hey, Mr. Adams. Remember when you tore my asshole with that wedgie? <laughs> 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 Shooter laughs a little and turns towards the father who gives the crazy sign. With his Griffiths wanders off. Son, I just want you to know that no matter what happens tonight or any night, I'm proud of you. Ah, Thanks, Dad. That really means a lot to... Ah! Mrs. Griffiths is behind Shooter and giving him a huge wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adams loses his fake emotional face and starts to laugh and point at Shooter. <laughs> we got you there. Okay, the game starts and Shooter starts missing. He's fucking off. Uh, the coaches asked him what's wrong. He's like, I don't know, whatever. He just, he just keeps missing. He was bad, but they managed to win. Uh, okay, so Mrs. Griffith, kept, she runs at him uh, yelling wedgie again. Uh, anyway, I don't know. By the know way, Ari, like. you know when we talked the other day and I told you that if you would have stuck with screenwriting, that you may have actually had a shot? If I stuck with screenwriting? Yeah, I've, I'm, I was full of shit. I have no idea. <laughs> Listening to it read out loud, there was no way that you... Yeah, let me just... His dad just travels with Mrs. Griffith. Yeah. They're just friends. <laughs> they hang out. That's, that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> What's okay. going on there? Well, here's the main problem. He, they, we reintroduced his father and Mrs. Griffith. He suddenly gets cold. He starts shooting off his first time ever. Mm. But that apparently is unrelated to his father and Mrs. Griffith showing up. Oh, interesting. That's what I thought it was. I haven't read the end of this. I assume that's what it was, too, when I started reading it. And then, no. Let's get to the end together. You, you know what's not affecting his shot? Sex. Yeah. <laughs> Shooter and Dan sit on a bench walking people, watching people walk by. I don't know. I just can't shoot anymore. I've been practicing twice a day, and I just can't do it. He looks up at a woman walking up to them. That one? Dan shakes his head. You know what I think? I think you're just making up the shooting problem in your head so you can break up with Jenny. What are you talking about? Why would it not be the father is the reason <laughs> yeah. you would say. Ever since you started going out with her, you've been trying to come up with ways to break up. You're shooting badly because of your fear that she only likes you because you're good at basketball. You're an idiot. Where do you even get this? Her? Ew. No. You forget. I'm a psychology major. <laughs> wow. How could anyone forget that? In addition to being a morbidly obese pedophile (laughs) and your best friend. Because to trap the children, you must know they're mine. (laughs) Detail number two for your character is a psychology Uh, major. I'm a Freudian. (laughs) Plus, I saw the same thing on Love Lines. You were already sulking last night when she said she had a test to study for. I see where this is going. If I, was, if I was smart, I'd be trying to break up with you. Boom. At least she doesn't make me pull stupid stunts like this. Her? Dan looks at the woman walking towards them, and his face lights up. He nods quickly, and Shooter picks up his books. As she walks by, he stands there and crashes into her. Oh, jeez, I'm really sorry. Let me help you. My name's Shooter. This is my friend Dan. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Are you free? Do you want to sit down and talk? Yeah, guys. <laughs> the only move anyone's made in this whole script. Here, have this drink. There's a roofie already in it. Drink it. <laughs> it's just bumping into people. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a meeting. Why don't you two stay and talk? It's such a nice day. 
shoot nods and they all. Good wingman, man. Fuck you. Shooter's a wingman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, this was big. Okay, it's here at Gymnasium Day. Shooter is all alone shooting baskets. He misses most of his shots and keeps shaking his head. J- John Poland again. Okay, no, okay. John Cutler okay. walks onto the floor. Shooter, I want you to meet my cousin. He says she can help you with your shooting cush. <laughs> Scott Cherry comes over from the Whoa. stands. Whoa. It's also, this could be John's sister also. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was Scott Cherry a real basketball player? He was a real basketball so player. Is- and he's here tonight! <laughs> <laughs> so this is played by the real Scott, Scott ass- Cherry as himself. Listen, I assume he would yeah. do the role. I'm guessing Scott Cherry owns some sort of Ford dealership in fucking Raleigh. Of we all can the get him away I, from the lot for a couple days. Of all the stuff I put in here that I was un, un, unrealistic for me to get the rights to, Scott Cherry is probably the that most felt right. realistic. Can I tell you this? 20 years later, it was right. Scott Cherry comes over from the stand. Shooter's face lights up when he sees who it is. Scott Cherry? Who was He-Man? Oh, I was, I was He-Man. You were He-Man? No, Dude. you took it over from that guy. That guy, Scott Cherry. Here's your fucking chance. I'm going to do Scott Cherry. Would you? Which is how jo- this guy would probably do it in real life. Yeah. It's the Scott Cherry yeah. guy. So how do I fix it? Yeah, that's the Really? Yeah. Dean Smith? <laughs> Scott Cherry nods and Shooter shrugs and picks up a basketball. He closes his eyes for a moment, then sh- shoots. It swishes through the net. <laughs> oh. well, well, what happens next? Okay, interior, Jenny's dorm room, night. Shooter and Jenny lie in bed under the covers. I guess they fucked and I just glanced over it. <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't fuck. Two days to the final four. Are you excited? Jenny, what if I was no good at basketball? If I was a nobody, would you still like me? (laughs) What if I was just some Jewish guy who who nobody really liked talked to that much? Would it be fine? (laughs) Would it be cool? (laughs) What the fuck's that supposed to mean? I'm I'm just wondering. Wait, what? That hurts me specifically. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking stuff. Listen to Come Down, everybody. Every week, it's Come Down. New Come Down episode. (laughs) Shooter, how could you even think that? (laughs) <laughs> it was just one game. You're still a great player. Shooter loses his smile. She didn't say no, by the way. She just says it was just eyes. one yeah, game. Exactly. He's yeah. like, oh fuck. She's waiting until I get to the league. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll read the broadcast here. We're minutes away from a tip off. The question on everybody's mind has to be Shooter Madison. That's different not his name. name. <laughs> different name, by the way. I think his pa- I think his parents got divorced and he went with the mother's maiden name. He was over his dad. The wedding paying, have to stop. Paying tribute to his maternal grandfather. Exactly. <laughs> Too many Shooter has adopted the name Shooter Madison. <laughs> and by the way, you just ripped off Sandler of- twice. It's a double <laughs> saying the ripoff in one fucking line. Shooter, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but to bring himself with some luck, Shooter said he got tickets from some of his bingo buddies. He said the rest managed to buy tickets from scalpers. Now, I don't know what a bingo buddy is supposed to be, but let's hope it brings him the lucky D. Oh, yeah. Shooter, all the bingo buddies are coming back, guys. It's, everything's coming back. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Whatever circle you're thinking of, it's very. Full. It's very similar to the ending of Fever Pitch. Uh, okay, so at this point... We're going to almost be done here. Um, how do we do this? <laughs> Coach Lewis tells us their toughest game of the year. The broadcasters start talking about how important it is. Shooter sucks, everybody. He can't fucking shoot straight. Wait, hold on. What? Shooter looks away, catches a pass, immediately shoots a long three-pointer that swishes in. What? Second oh, half? my. Shooter hits from way outside. The other team scores a few, but as the clock winds down the first half, Central has the ball. Shooter gets it and passes it to Mike, who drives and kicks it to Rodney. Who shoots with four seconds? The bow bounces off the rim, and Daryl jumps in for the rebound and bats it down to the baseline. Shooter, ca- dude, shooter's know, hitting. Man. Oh, he's hitting a couple shots. You're right. He hits the shot and runs to the locker room. Yeah, what? Oh, because he's got Scott Cherry's advice. <laughs> right. Okay. No, this sort of makes sense. So he pictured his coach naked. And yeah, and it worked, I guess. Yeah. That's Dave, all it takes. you've read some scripts in your time. Where are you thinking this ranks at this point? 
Dave unscrewed his microphone, so uh, he's going to have to screw it back on. There he goes. <laughs> well, I realize JP's where, almost out of this. Where are we in the script now? We're almost at the end. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Uh, I know. <laughs> this is, uh, no, I mean, it's, it's good stuff all the way through, but. Oh, uh, this is us right here. Jay, th- I mean, uh, Dave, that's it. Where? Right there. We're, we're on that page. Okay. I think we're still 11 pages away from the end. Shooter's in his hotel room watching television. There's uh, a knock. I don't like where my character has gone at all. It, he's just gone away, sort I of. I was a nemesis for so long. Now I'm like his... Who am I? I'm, I'm, it's like, yeah. really, just because he's dating my cousin, sister? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that still happening? Yeah, and he's all fine now. It's a very one-dimensional <laughs> character as well. Okay, I, I was happy with my arc. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> major. D- Dan's like six dimensional. And yeah. that's not a size joke. Right. <laughs> that's just. <laughs> what you watching? Oh. He Man reruns. Mm, you like this stuff? <laughs> I've gotten into it recently. Do you want to. I'll do it like real Maryland. Like, okay. You just want to go and uh, <laughs> maybe. Um... Okay. Well, that's a tough do you want to go out with uh, with us later? We're all going into town to do a little sightseeing, mm, huffing. By the <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have plans with your sister. But what? thanks. <laughs> it means a lot that you even invited me. Say every time you have sex with her, she becomes more important to me, from cousin to sister. Your I'm mom. fucking your aunt. She's now your mother uh, on this page. It means a lot. You even invited me. Say. You wouldn't happen to have any extra condoms, would you? What a dick! Oh, my sister! What a dick! Damn! <sighs> okay, uh... Shooter. He would don't ordinarily go condoms. raw dog, but this was right in the heart of the AIDS epidemic, right? Yeah. <laughs> what a responsible Easy. message. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Interior. Okay, at, at this point, he's watching the TV. Fucking lightning bolt, everybody. He's back in the cartoon world. Shooter. Huh? What the crap? Hey, I, I, I can do that. I'm right here. Oh, sorry. My bad. Huh? What the crap? Oh, crap. It's Skeletor, everybody. Hold on. Let me just tell you. It's Skeletor from He-Man. But I'm in your house. Are you saying your house is... What do you want from me? Hey, what's your deal anyway? Are you like a skeleton or a man? What's the story? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. I thought you guys couldn't curse. In Great Falls, we do whatever the fuck we want. From this moment forward, you have no speech. You are and forever will be a slow, no comment little bitch. Wow. From the, wow. from the mind of Ari Shafir. I've played basketball with Ari. That is true. That is a cru- <laughs> hey, Ari, put the mirror down. All right? <laughs> Stop beating script. yourself up in your art. <laughs> this is uh, like Christmas, Carol. All right, he wakes up, and um, uh, he loses all his speed. He doesn't really want to tell her, because he feels like, you know, we already know this. That's going to fucking make her run away from him. Uh, okay, so... Here we go. Two pages forward. Shooter. Oh, okay. Good then. You see that one? Oh, interior hotel room night. Shooter is standing next to the television watching He-Man. He's banging away at it, but nothing happens. Come on! Jenny knocks and comes in. She's holding the note Shooter wrote. Oh, he left her a note. One more. Uh, Read off his thing. Uh, uh, What's this, Shooter? I told you, none of this matters to me. (laughs) Yeah, but it's really true. I really don't have any speed. I can't play anymore. She starts to speak, but Shooter raises his hand. Please. Do oh, th- you don't want me to speak? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please, do me this favor. <laughs> don't talk to me until after the game. Then you'll know that this is real. I'll understand if you don't even want to say goodbye. <laughs> she starts to speak again, but Shooter holds up his hand. <laughs> Please. Interior auditorium night. The game, we got like three more pages, four more pages. The game has started and Shooter watches the sideline. He looks around and sees Jenny and she waves. He looks at his bingo buddies and they're all there. Only, oh, only they are bruised and battered. There was a fight. There was a brawl in the last game. Uh, somewhere braces. The man and his friend who were in the fight both sit in wheelchairs. Uh, then it's just some fucking, Jay picks, picks up his third foul. Coach sends Shooter in. He has a ball stolen from him. One of his shots gets blocked. 
His man runs around him for a layup. Shooter hits an open three, but then his man scores on him again. JP goes back in. On his way out, Shooter looks at Jenny, but she's not in her seat. Ooh. Whoa. The halftime buzzer sounds. You guys a popcorn great. stand. Central's down 40 to 36. Interior, Dan's room, night. Dan sits in his room staring at the television. John's back there. To, back to what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Eating a chili dog. So is the woman from the bench. He turns to John. What's going on out there in the world? They're watching the, the game. <laughs> it might have something to do with that message. <laughs> John walks over to the answer machine. Boop. You have seven messages. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> hey, Dan, it's Shooter. Give me a call in my hotel room. Boop. Hey, Dan, we're getting ready to play. I'll call you when we win. Boop. We won. I guess you know that. Feeling great. Talk to you later, I guess. Boop. <laughs> Dan, Skeletor kidnapped me through the TV and took all my powers. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Boop. Why? Why? Boop. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Is anyone else thinking that young Ari was a germaphobe? <laughs> Ari's nose smells everything miles away. <laughs> I think that just says about something about Dan. <laughs> like, let's wash those crumbs off of you. <laughs> it did smell bad. Boop. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. And that would explain it. I can't believe it. I could use a back rub over here. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Uh, uh, this is Are what he's saying. This off. is the line. <laughs> what? <laughs> I could use a back rub oh over my. here. I thought that was you crying. I don't know what over here is. Or <laughs> Thank God I have a team of people from the government that's paid to touch me. <laughs> he seemed really upset, too, huh? Oh, okay, well, they go in for the second half. It goes bad. Uh, scores 51-50. Oh, they're playing against Carolina in the fucking championship. Billy twists his ankle. Daryl goes in. Roddy picks up his fifth foul. David goes in. And David, come down. David comes down hard in his hand. Only players left on the bench are JP and Shooter. Central calls a timeout. They're down 63-61 with under five minutes left. But by the way, why didn't you just make it like 62-63? Uh, I wanted to get it exact, probably. There's some threes in here and a couple foul shots. Did it? But there's a point where you could have just made it like a one-point game, and you, yep. you made it like a four-point game. Who's, who's Terrell, by the way? Terrell is one of the, uh, the black people from the team. Yeah, he's not been introduced until right now. Did he just walk on? He was You're working. about to meet Terrell. He was uh, working on Mr. Adam's plantation earlier, so he... <laughs> Come by on. the way, your racism is really showing in this script. Rodney, Ramel, <laughs> Terrell, Terrence. And Mike. It's not like a black Chris or Mike. John. Uh, Terrell, you've got four fouls. Okay, coach speaks up. All right, let me check my clipboard. Terrell, you got four fouls. JP, Mike, you've got four, too. Now I don't want any unnecessary fouls, ladies. We can't afford to lose anybody. Was, Let's go. It was straight Giannis improvising, by the yeah, way. Yeah. He's fucking great at that. Play starts. Mike slashes the basket for a layup. Tony gets a block, and Dar- Darryl, Darrell scores on the outside. Mike gets a steal. All right. More and more and more. Uh, Jenny comes from behind the bench and taps Shooter on the shoulder. Jenny, what are you doing? All right. I know you're not crazy. You can't play. But I don't care. I mean, you suck. All right. All right, I get it. Sorry, but I don't care. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed about this fucking writing. I see how bad you are, and I don't care. I mean, you're fucking terrible. But that doesn't matter to me. So now do you believe me? Shooter. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. That's where it cut off. <sighs> so now let me just really quickly. Um, I'm going to play the last few beats of, of the uh, pages of the script. And, um, and then I'll wrap it up. And then I'll wrap it up. So let's get, let's get back into the script. Thank you, Michelle. Sorry to cut that off. But I had to listen to that. That same piece of dialogue she just said right there like 25 times as I kept listening to different downloads of of this uh, of this the file trying to see where it cut off and I had to keep hearing don't you believe me 
Why don't you believe me? Why don't you believe me? Why don't you believe me? Oh. Um. All right, let's get back into it. Um. Yeah, here we go. I'll call it together. You're Jenny. Okay. What's the, uh, what's happening here? Don't worry about that. I just okay. need to read that. Jenny, that whole thing. And then okay. All right. Sorry, but I don't care. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I see how bad you are, and I don't care. I mean, you're fucking terrible, but that doesn't matter to me. So now do you believe me? Shooter just stands and nods for a moment, and then they kiss again. Coach Lewis comes up and taps Shooter on the shoulder. Coach Lewis, go ahead. Hold on, I gotta get into the character. Oh, so I'm a coach? Yeah, you're a coach. Just read that. Okay. But what, I mean, what's the context? Am I on a am I on a field? Shooter just stands and nods for a moment, and then they kiss again. Coach Lewis taps Shooter on the shoulder. No, you, it's a basketball coach. Go. Okay, I'm. A, uh, you're a basketball coach. You're telling Shooter he has to go in. But I'm saying hi. Am I saying it sarcastically? Like, no, yeah. Like, yeah, cause yeah, like hello. Yeah, because you're kissing a check. All right, see, be, I'm an actor. I'm sorry. I'm an actor. Great, great, great. great. All right, hey guys, be quiet. No, We're, no, you're good. Just start it. <laughs> uh, hi, Mike just fouled out. You got to go in. The scoreboard reads Central 74, UNC 69 with 117 left. Tight game. Central's up by five. That's 117. You can't lose that, right, everybody? Uh, Shooter turns back to Jenny, smiles, and rips off his warm-ups. UNC hits both foul shots, bringing them within three. Oh, that's the foul shots from uh, from uh, Mike fouling out. Uh, okay. JP passes to Durrell, who passes it to Shooter. Shooter takes one dribble and has it stolen. They go in for a layup. Then Shooter has his shot blocked, and his man goes around him for another layup. Then he makes a bad pass, and UNC steals it. His man hits a three-pointer. Durrell puts up a shot and scores. That's good. And UNC misses at the other end. <gasps> but Shooter's man blows by him for the putback. They pass to him for a three-pointer, but that gets blocked too. And Shooter's man runs all the way down the court and dunks it at the buzzer. Final score. UNC 82, Central 76. Fans start to file out of the auditorium. auditorium. Some move down to watch the ceremony. I mean, that, it would just be something that, like, you don't have to write that in the screenplay. It would just be the director or, or like, really the, the, the extras wrangler would, would make them do those things. Anyway, a uh, sports pro- broadcaster says... What a terrible display of basketball by Shooter Madison. I can't remember one player so hurting his own. A fist flies in and knocks him out. Mr. Ibsen stands over the unconscious body. Mr. Ibsen says, I didn't care for his broadcasting very much. Broadcaster 2 sits back and smiles. He doesn't give a shit, you guys. Uh, Shooter finds Jenny in all the commotion. Kind of like Adrian. Kind of like Adrian from Rocky, right? It might be stolen from that for sure. Uh, Shooter finds Jenny in all the commotion. She is looking for him, and he comes up on her from behind. Shooter says, Okay, I'm going to read the last couple lines for Shooter. Uh, This will be cathartic. Well, now that you've seen how bad I really am, do you still want me? (laughs) So bad. Jenny turns around and smiles. Okay, great. And then this last one. Boom. Shouldn't you be in the locker room? Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm not a good actress. Somehow, I don't think I'll be too welcome in there. Interior locker room night. All the players and coaches stand on either side of the door holding bats and chairs and other weapons. Back to the gym. Back to the, you know, the arena. Why do I call it gymnasium? Uh, shooter. Just a guess. But how about you? Am I welcome here? It's like he doesn't, still doesn't know. Uh, she's not giving him any clearer signs than that. Jenny kisses Shooter, and the camera slowly pans out as the credits start to roll. The shot slowly becomes rounder as we keep backing up. After a while, the shot becomes a ball. Man, Ari, you're really fucking out there, huh? (coughs) Cut to interior. The Castle of Grayskull, nighttime. Skeletor watches the scene, the whole basketball game, through his crystal ball. As the credits, oh, it didn't become a basketball. It a crystal ball. I get it now. Skeletor watches the scene through his crystal ball as the credits continue to roll over him now. Over him now. Skeletor. Very interesting. He-Man walks over and gives Skeletor a hug. They hold each other momentarily and look at the ball. 
He-Man rests his head on Skeletor's shoulders. He-Man says, What do you say we give him his powers back? He seems like such a nice boy. And then Skeletor. Oh, you. (sighs) Skeletor playfully slaps at He-Man's chest. I guess we could. I just can't resist that charm. (laughs) They turn and look at each other, still holding on to each other's waists. Suddenly, Mrs. Griffith comes running in. Wedgie! 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 (laughs) They both yell and run in the opposite direction as Mrs. Griffith gives chase. Fade out. Fade out. And that's the end of it, you guys. Uh, I did notice this uh, page down in the script. At the end of it, I wrote some... Some things back in college. The first was this. Premise. Your dreams are reachable if you're willing to chase them. Wow, how how fucking apt. Not just a shooter, but of me putting on this great show and having shooter the script come to life. All right. Well, that's it, you guys. That's Shooter. I hope you guys had a good time. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, tell a friend about this. Let him or her know that uh, there's a piece of fucking work out there. Um, <laughs> it was so bad. Quickly again, uh, dates Columbus, Cleveland, Toronto, Portland, Seattle, Calgary. Uh, all coming up. <sighs> Um, yeah, man, shooter. What if, dude, that was okay. I'll, I'll tell you what I said at the end of the night, um, at the bell house when I did it, I'll say this. I, cause I remember it cause it was a big moment for me when I wrote that script in college. I mean, yeah, way in the back of my head. I was like, maybe this will be a movie. You know, we had some interest from Harvey Weinstein and some stuff that had nothing to do with us came up and. Anyway, the Weinstein Company is not gonna not gonna make it. I'm joking, by the way. Um, when I when I wrote this, and this is what I said to the crowd and to all the comics, when I wrote this, I mean, you know, one percent in the back of my head, like, wouldn't it be cool if that was made into a real movie? But I didn't really feel like it would have been, like it could have been even. I, I didn't know anyone who could make movies. That seems kind of crazy. But if you had told me that 20 plus years later, 20, 21 years later, some of the top comedians in the world would be reading my script to a packed audience, hundreds of people listening. I I mean, it was a dream come true. It really was. It was a dream come true, man. Those comics were so fucking good that night. Michelle was so goddamn funny. David Tell was so fucking ridiculous. And and Soder was fucking great. He kept calling me like, no, 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 you're skipping parts of this, man. You were skipping parts of this. You missed Dan Soder, by the way, in this, wore a headband and a wristband to really play the role of shooter. Oh, you might have noticed the drinking game kind of faded away pretty fucking fast. Didn't organize that part well enough. Thank you, Danish and O'Neill. Um for you know making me do this it it was it was you're the reason i set this up and did it so i'm really i'm really just happy that it just fucking worked out so well what a great time again if you have any sort of photoshop that that is inspired by the details of that um i don't even know how you would do it but whatever you want you guys are creative as shit if there's one that's good enough for me to put up on Instagram, I'm, I'll, I'll give you 25 bucks. And like I said, same thing goes for my special double negative. You, If I use something of yours, I'll, I'll give you 25 bucks. I'll PayPal you. I'll find out your PayPal address or Venmo, and I'll send you cash. No, it's credit, right? It's definitely not cash. You don't send cash on PayPal, right? You just transfer, like, megabytes. Um. <sighs> And that's it, you guys. And that's the episode. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this. Tell us your friends um, that this is a podcast they should be listening to. Um, I always try my best on these. So before I go, I was going to go out to uh, to uh, the song uh, by the Muppets, There's No Business Like Show Business. But instead, I decided to dedicate this song to you and I guess to Dana Chanel too to show you quite how bad my voice really, really is. All right? I, I don't want you thinking I'm just making that up. So because you guys, fans, keep me going. Without you guys' support, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to put on fun shows like this. I mean that hundreds of people came out to see to see uh, this, this, this awful, awful script that I wrote in college come to life. It's just like I, I couldn't have done it without you guys to be there. And I couldn't have done it without Danish O'Neill and, and all those guys that, that, that it, Dan stepped up so hard to play shooter. He was so excited. <sighs> oh, God damn, Mattel was funny. Everybody's funny, though. Stav and Tillin and fucking Giannis. Married now, Giannis. So, you guys, I'm going to show you what I mean when I say I have a bad singing voice. I am going to be trying my hardest to sing this well. I'm not hamming it up. I don't do that shit. It always comes off as fake when people ham it up. I am singing it the way I would sing it at karaoke. And I'm going to tell you, it might make you feel things you don't like to feel. But you guys, you not just inspired me, but kept me going. You keep me going in this business by supporting me, you know, both like definitely financially, obviously. I can afford to live because you guys buy tickets to stuff. But also just emotionally, you're there laughing and it just like gets me going. Man, this show, I'm going to still go strong for a year after this show is over. Great, great shows, great live shows. That's what keeps me going. And you guys being there, it does it. So this is dedicated, I guess, to all of you. Um, the fans who support. It's Bette Miller's Wind Beneath My Wings. Oh, it must have been cold there in my shadow To never have sunlight on your face You were content to let me shine that's your way You always walked a step behind So I was the one with all the glory Literally doing this for real Try my house This song is in place of a copyrighted song this song is in place of a copyrighted song. 